it's reacting to the Tottenham Chelsea game. Someone in the comments will put timestamps when the goals happen. And we're just going to be reacting to the game, talking about the game, going through the lineups. At half time, we might have a little dip into fancy Premier League as well. It's just going to be like a little podcast thing going on. But we are back. Welcome back to the stream, guys. Thank you, everybody that's already in here. Can we get 1K likes? In one minute, just get it done for the boys. Today, it's a Carabao Cup game between Tottenham and Chelsea. I'm very looking forward to it. The lineups are on the screen here. There's a live score up here. And we've got some very interesting topics today. Unfortunately, Thog Dad didn't want to make it. He didn't want to come. He thought, you know what? You guys, it's not worth the time. And I was like to him, well, Thog Dad, that's a little bit rude, isn't it? Like, you know, you've got to put some time into Thogden YouTube channel. And he was like, nah, nah, I'm not going to bother. So, no Thog Dad today. And I just thought it's pretty shocking. So, everybody say, poor from Thog Dad in the comments. Anyway, um, we're going to talk about our new video today on our YouTube channel. Every Premier League club's FIFA rating EA got horribly wrong. Have you guys watched that new video yet? Because if you haven't, go onto my channel now. Forget the live stream. Go watch my new video. If you've already watched it, you're a proper TDL member because you're up to date with the stream and you're up to date with the video. It's a double upload day and everybody loves to see it. We're going to be talking about the new exclusive content on my Facebook page. We're going to talk about Marcus Alonso and whether we'll ever see him play for Chelsea again. A lot of debuts to come, as you can see on the lineup screen as well. We will dip into Regulon, Chilwell, Mendy, new goalkeeper for Chelsea, finally no Kepa. However, the last time these two players, uh, these two teams played, it was what, what, what? Hey. Thog Dad! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> He's here! Hey, it's a bit chilly today, isn't it? Oh, it's Ooh, bloody freezing. I'll tell you what. You don't, find, you don't find heat in Montenegro. You don't, you, you don't. You don't find heat oh in Montenegro. Oh my goodness, how is everyone? 1,300 people in the stream. Yeah, that's what it's all about. We've got our hoodies on, haven't we? You got, well, it's a nice hoodie, that. It's yeah, it's gosh, it, it's it. It. I always wear the same hoodie. I only brought one to Montenegro, but yeah. Thog Dad today. Day. Yeah. Tottenham versus Chelsea. But first of all, what was your thoughts on our new video on our channel today? Every Premier League club's FIFA rating EA got horribly <laughs> wrong. Did you enjoy being in a FIFA video for the first time? I, I hadn't got a clue what was going on, Theo. These but, FIFA. When I, but when I gave you comparisons of yeah. players, like when I compared Haller's rating to Danny Ings' rating, Haller being one above, yeah. that was crazy, wasn't it? It was interesting, and there seemed to be a few anomalies, a few mistakes there. Yeah, didn't Aubameyang the didn't get up great. He went down one after the best season of his life. I know. Unbelievable Danny season. Ings, that was a yeah, harsh one. I talked one, about that it? one yeah, already. Yeah. Um, there's quite a few. Pogba's went down quite a few because of him being injured, even though he's still in his prime. Man United fans will have their comments on that. So, I mean, people are finally getting FIFA 21. Yes. Greenwood was sent it in the post, uh, and Mbappe got the first copy because he's on the front of it. Right. So it's a good time to post that video because it's being talked about a lot. Wolfie! <laughs> Jinx is the first donator of the day. Thank you, Wolfie. Didn't think you'd do this one. Come on, you Spurs, he says. Mate, you've got to bring the content to the boys. It's going to be a good one, isn't it, Dan? Absolutely. We can't wait. Some yep. people say it's only the EFL Cup. Yeah, it's only the Carabao say, Cup. But it's, you know what? A no, it's a derby. Tottenham it Chelsea's a derby. Yeah. There's loads of new debuts. People are going to be watching to see how Mendy does in goal. They badly need a good goalkeeper there with Kepa. Tottenham have got Regulon starting. Yes. It's interesting. It is interesting, yes. It's good to see some of these fringe players playing. You know, Tanganga's back, for example. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I can't wait there. It's going to be proper I interesting. Not wait. What are your thoughts on, um, you know, the talk about Marcus Alonso situation against West Brom? They were 3 0 down at half time, and Marcus Alonso got subbed off. Apparently, it was a bust up in the training rooms between yeah. him and Frank Lampard. He went straight to the team coach at half time, yeah. didn't walk back out to the bench. Are we ever going to see the ex Bolton player, the Spanish left back, playing the Premier League for Chelsea ever again? Well, it seems that his position is rather crowded now. Yeah. So even without the bus stop, you know, his position was in doubt, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's true. And then after, yeah, you don't do that. You know, you're taken off for a reason yeah, it's against true. West Brom because you were crap in that half. Yeah. You watch the game with your teammates. It's a team game. Exactly. You know. Louis Eleven, thanks for six pounds. Love the content, lads. Talk MCFC from Insta here. Oh, legend. That's awesome, yeah, guys. It's great yeah, to nice see him promoting the, the page. But thanks for the donations, guys. We will shout out your comments whatever the donation is. Um, but, Dad, let's get down to the point. Will Marcus Alonso play for Chelsea again? Yes I... or no? Will they sell him? Yes, they'll sell him. Okay. Yeah. So he's never playing for them again? He'll want to get away now, so he's gone. Okay. He's and gone. do you think that's a shame? 
It is a shame. He's been a good servant. I mean, you know, we like him because he was, you know, a former Bolton Wanderers lad, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's, he's a Bolton lad. And yeah. you know what? He's still a pretty good player, but he's a wing back. The, the thing is, he's a wing back. He's not a yeah. full back. In a full back formation, he gets rinsed. And we saw it in the West Brom game when Ajayi tapped the ball onto the halfway line in front of him and yeah. ran onto it. Marcus Alonso had half the pitch advantage. And Ajayi still got there first. And if his through ball got through, West Brom nearly scored a fourth. So, clean form, thanks for the two pounds, mate. Uh, do you think Rangers will win the Scottish Prem? It will be very close, mate. It will be very close. Thog Dad, who do you think is going to have the best starting debut today? Regulon, Chilwell or Mendy? Oh, my goodness. So I'm really looking forward to see Edouard Mendy. Yeah. We talked about him before. I mean, he's six foot six. Yeah. He's a really big lad. And he came from Stade René, didn't he? he? He did. He was the top shot stopper in the French league. Yeah, so I know. So he's good at, you know, he's much better than Kepper at shot. That's, sh that's the thing. Yeah, stopping a shot. If he's the best shot, got shot stopper in the French league... What if he's an up? What if he's crap? What if he makes a mistake on his debut? <laughs> yeah. What if Chelsea have a goalkeeper curse? We saw how Caballero did when he did a job in the Premier League. He looked a bit shaky. Kepa is shaky in general. Imagine Edwin Mendy comes in for all this money and has a bad start. Yeah, well, what was it? 20 odd. We'll get the stats out in a minute. I think it was 20 million. So it wasn't, you know, it wasn't 75 million like Kepa. Yeah. And that's the point, you know. It's 27 million, but it's Stad Rene. It's not PSG yeah. you're buying from. Exactly. It, it, you were, in a COVID summer, you're not going to pay more than that. Yeah, but sometimes you play for the likes of a Stad Rene and yeah. you get a better goalkeeping experience. Okay. You get I, more I just, shots to stop, you know. I just can't believe they paid 82 million for Kepa. And yeah. if they ever sell him, they're going to have a problem with fan yeah. with FP, FPP, yeah. fans, financial fair play because they're never going to make anything near off that and if they count it as a loss then they're screwed um, we're going to get yeah, into the lineups yeah. very soon in a few minutes but thank you Ben Jones for the two pounds mate really appreciate it everybody get your Tottenham Chelsea predictions in the comments now let me know what you think the score is taking the lineups they're on the screen I mean there are some very interesting starts Tottenham starting Tanganga I thought he was injured Yes, and it's still recorded on transfermarket.com as an injury. Yeah. So obviously he's just got better. Bit of a risk, or possibly. Or Jose you know. Mourinho is risking it and bringing him back early. And I don't. Th I think yeah. he is because he said in a in a pre match um, uh, pre match interview saying that he's going to risk it with the players. He's going to rest Harry Kane and Son because there's big games to come. Son is injured. Harry Kane is being rested, just for your information. Yeah. And I, he also said that it might even be worse losing this game on purpose to get less games on. Yes. Focus on the league. Focus on the FA Cup when it comes and the Europa League qualifiers. So it's going to be interesting to see if Jose Mourinho's boys actually go for it today. Well, Jose might say that, but he loves a bit of silverware. Mm. So I'm not sure he's totally throwing in the towel. He'd love to win. Oh this no, game. he's not totally th throwing in the towel, Dad. But look at the Chelsea lineup. I'm actually going to turn this off because it's a lot of uh, it's hurting my brain. We'll turn it back on when the <laughs> kickoff starts. But Dad, look at the Chelsea lineup. They've got Werner again. Um, yes. We're going to get onto it in a little bit more detail very soon, guys. Yes. But they're not they're not here to mess around with. I think Frank Lampard wants to win the Carabao Cup. He wants to win silverware. He really does, absolutely. And he wants to bounce back after that, you know, the three all at West Brom. Yeah. He wants to, you know, he wants, he's saying to his players, just go out and win this one. Yeah, I think, I think they will. It's going to be a close one. Last time they played in the Premier League, Chelsea won this last season. Frank Lampard celebrated it. I remember at the new Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. He loved it, really. Luke Riley, thanks for two pounds. Final score, four all. <laughs> what a game would that, that would be. Well, there's so many new starts and interesting players that have been given a go. Tottenham are playing two strikers today and both of them don't play striker. I think there's goals in this game. I generally think... Uh, both defences will be a little bit more um, confident, but also shaky. Yeah. Uh, and I think there'll be lots of goals, free-flowing football. People won't sit back today because what the hell's the point in sitting back? Yes. Carabao Cup yeah. game. A lot of these lads won't have a chance to play for the whole season. Someone like Gedson Fernandez, he'll want to show what he can do. He'll take that extra risk. And I think we'll see that from both ends. Yeah, I mean, sometimes when you make a lot of changes, it kind of upsets everything, doesn't it? It does. And, and you do get more goals than you'd expect. I think we will see it. Guys, everybody get your score predictions in. We will do a giveaway today. Uh, and it, we're going to go back to the normal entries for the giveaway. Like, subscribe and get your prediction in for the Tottenham Chelsea game. I'll announce how much we're giving away at kickoff. 
Um, Somebody has said, sorry, no beer. I mean, that's a very good point. We always wait till kickoff. <laughs> we always wait till kickoff. If you're a true stream watcher, you know we wait till kickoff to crack the beers open. So we'll wait till k- kickoff. Tiago has COVID. That is mental if that uh. is true. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see how many will do for Chelsea. See if they finally got a good keeper on their hands. Remember, guys, if we want to go over to our Facebook page. Um, thank you, Matt Toastland, for the 279 Canadian. Um, remember, go follow us on Facebook. We've got new exclusive content on there posted today. So get over there. Um, and I might even be responding to a few of you on, on DMs on Facebook. So get over there. Let's get into the lineup, shall we, Thogdad? Absolutely. Let's That's do it. An interesting message from Matt Toslan, isn't it? Yeah, very interesting. <laughs> um, this is the Tottenham lineup. But more interestingly, we are going to go over to Sofa Scores. Let us do You know that. what? This. Although this is a Carabao Cup game, there's so many interesting players playing today. Uh, and in 18 minutes, we're going to see it kick off. And I'm absolutely buzzing for it, really. Um, let's get straight into it, Thogdad, with the Tottenham team. Hugo Lloris in goal. Yeah. Joe Hart must be gutted. I'm a bit surprised by that. Yeah. I mean, I looked at the provisional lineups and I was all ready to talk about Joe Hart. Yeah. But Lloris, yeah, you know, we know how good he is. 114 caps for France. I'm sorry, Dad, but if Jose Mourinho really wants to risk throwing in the towel, he would have started Joe's, Joe Hart. <laughs> okay, he's starting Hugo Lloris. Like, like yeah. I'm sorry, he's not rotating things completely. You know what I mean? He's, he's not, Theo. And there are, as you've already said, there are some interesting names in this Tottenham team. They're playing a back some three. Regular, there's also some regular yeah. names. They're playing a back three, which is unusual for Tottenham. Yes. Maybe a new system to play to make the most out of their wing-backs, Doherty and Reguilon, in the future. But this time round, it's Aurier and Reguilon. Toby Alderweireld, Dyer, and Tanganga as the back three. Tell me about it, Dad, starting with the Belgian. Well, let's start off with Toby. Yeah. Um, and yes, and as you've said, he's played 98 times for Belgium. You know, hugely, hugely experienced. The ex-Atletico man. Yeah. You know, I, I've always liked him. He's, he's a, you know, he's not he's solid. spectacular. He's, he's solid. solid. That's, That's it. That's the right word. That's what you get from him. And, you know, he might be getting on a little bit. It might be a bit, little bit slow on the, on, the, on the side, but he's still a Premier League standard centre-back. Eric Dyer, though, on the other hand, Dad... Someone who uh, hasn't been playing at centre-back for long. Yeah. But Jose Mourinho has belief in him. He's played him in the Everton, Southampton yeah. and Newcastle game. Very average performances from him, but he became a little bit more solid at the back in the Newcastle game, which I watched. And I thought he was a little bit better. Well, I mean, as we all know, this is a very experienced international 40 caps. Yeah. The lad who came from Sporting Club to Portugal six years ago. And I think that's key here. I, I think that, there's a, that Josie has a weak spot for Eric Dyer. I think he loves him. Yeah. I think he loves him a bit too much. Um, really, this man should be at a championship club right now. But because he speaks Portuguese, Jose Mourinho loves him. I hate to think that, but, uh, you know, I... I think it's true. I'm not sure why he's in the, the starting eleven. Okay, maybe in a Carabao Cup game. Yeah, yeah. But he's, not but he's played all the Premier League recently. games. He's yes, played I all know. the Premier League games. And he's not been convincing. Do you think he's a good enough centre back? Maybe he'll get a good enough centre back. Who knows? He's definitely not a midfielder. That's Is he good enough? Sure. No, he's not. Okay. Well, Tanganga, a man who really impressed last season, hasn't had much game time. Just come back from injury, Thog Dad. Yeah. 21 years old. He's got the potential, but how good will he be today? Well, it's hard to call, isn't it? You know, he's come back from injury. Yeah. You know, he's, a, he's an England youth international. People are talking very positively about him. But, you know, I've still not seen very much of him. So I look forward to seeing what he can do today. Yeah, well, watch out from the 21-year-old. We'll definitely want to impress today so we can get some Premier League starts. Now, the wing-backs. We're going to start with Aurier, the Ivory Coast, well, right-footed, right wing-back, and also right-back. Back in the team, obviously played all the Premier League games last season, but Doherty has been taking his place this time round. Last season, he got five assists and one goal in 30 starts. How do you think he'll do in this game, Dad? Well, it's hard to call because for me, he can have good games and bad games. He's not a consistent player. No, he's not. For me. They wouldn't have bought a right back if he was a consistent player. Simple as that. No, they wouldn't. I mean, yeah. he's an experienced Ivory Coast international with 60 caps. Of course, he came from PSG three years ago. So his pedigree is very good. Yeah. And there's times when I think he's really good because, you know, he's, he's been an FPL pick of mine in the past. Oh, yeah. And there's times when he has stinkers. Yeah, simple as that thought, Dad. Couldn't have put it by myself. I mean... You, you can't guarantee yourself a good game with him. He no. can be defensively poor, yeah. which is why this new formation with him being a wing-back takes a little bit of pressure off his defensive capabilities yes. and he's better going forward. So Aurier might shine today. Now, let's talk about the interesting one for a lot of you Tottenham fans. Sergio Reguilon, 
makes his debut for Tottenham today against Chelsea, Derby Day in the Cup. 23 years old, how do you think he'll cope, Dad? Well, this is a, a real tough one to call. I mean, again, a man with pedigree. Yeah. I came from Real Madrid. Listen, yeah, exactly, look at this. Real Madrid had his time of his life at Sevilla. Yeah. Everybody wanted to buy him. I know. Literally the loan of his life. Uh, won the Europa League, back to Real Madrid. Real Madrid don't like him. Sergio Ramos and Zidane aren't too keen on him. Tottenham buy him for 30 million with a buyback clause. Uh, and it looks like this could be his new home. Well, it seems possibly like a good bit of business. Yeah. This is a young lad who's played once for his country. Um, and yet again, I'm looking forward to seeing how he copes. Correct. Don't expect too much too soon because the, you know, the Premier League is very different to the Spanish League. It's true. It? Now, at Sevilla, he was used to being in a fullback. We saw in the Europa yeah. League final, he was in a fullback. But this time round, he's going to have a little bit more leeway to play like a winger and actually get up the left side as that wingback position yeah. allows him to with cover from Tanganga. So he will be enjoying that. I think he'll have a good game. Yeah. Watch out for Reguilon today. Let's get on to the midfield. Sissoko and Dombele and Fernandez, starting with Sissoko. What do you think about him, Dad, the 31-year-old? Yeah, um, oh, he's, he's turned 31, has he? He has. Oh, it must have been in the last few days. 16th of August. Oh, well, well not too far. Not too long ago, yeah. so happy birthday to him a month late. Uh, yeah. <laughs> an experienced France international with 62 caps. Yeah. Newcastle fans will know all about him. Yeah. He cost 32 million quid from Newcastle four years and ago. And Tottenham fans bloody love him. <laughs> and, and I like him as well. He's brilliant at driving yeah. with the ball. He barely scores goals, but when he does, the Tottenham fans go crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he's a big lad, he's a lump, and he can really push forward with the ball. Yes, you know? yeah. And, and they need someone like that. And today he could do that against Chelsea if they get a result. Absolutely. I think we all want Sissoko in the middle of our... Yeah, pitch. and Tottenham fans have been very gassed because they've seen, well, they've noticed that Ndombele and Sissoko are starting together. Now, managers don't always have the confidence to put them together, but they are today. And it's going to be interesting. Um, what do you think about Ndombele, Dad? I think he's an absolutely brilliant player. So much ability. Well, yes. There's times that when I've seen him and thought, this guy is special. I mean, yeah. he came with a £54 million price tag yeah. from Lyon a year ago. Yep. And um, was, was he injured a bit last season? Because well, he was. Yeah, he was very injured last season. Yes. And then he got dropped because of fitness reasons. Yes. But he's 23. He was brilliant at Lyon. They wouldn't have paid £60 million for him if he wasn't. Absolutely. He controlled that Plovdiv game. He was the reason they got that win. Yes. It didn't make it made sure they didn't go to penalties and let's not forget what he did in that Southampton game completely created Tottenham's first goal set it up um, and he's just a brilliant player great on the ball a little bit clunky and Tottenham fans do mention that right. but I think if he gets his fitness levels up which I think he has this season yes. he's a real player a right, real player. Sofa score rankings he's been given are fairly average. They are, but Dad, sofa score aren't always right. He should have been better in that Southampton game. I think he deserved at least a seven. Right. Finally, Gedson Fernandez, the Portuguese midfielder. We haven't heard much of him, have we, yeah, Dad? We haven't. Now he's played twice for Portugal. Yeah. So I'm surprised Wolverhampton Wanderers are not buying him. Yeah. Um, but he's on loan from Benfica. Yeah. He's valued at about 12 million quid. All I can say is I'm going to keep my eye, my eye out for him. I don't know much about him. Yeah, well, he hasn't played the season yet, really. 21 years old. Um, he only played seven games last season. He's a bit of a backup, really, for Tottenham. Yeah. Um, and they signed him on a 4.5 million loan. Uh, but now it's a confirmed signing. I might be correct. I don't know. But, I mean, he had a few stinkers, that United yeah. game last season, a Villa game. He is on loan. I think they've got okay. the right to buy him. But, All right, yeah. they've got the right to buy him. Interesting. Okay, fine. We'll see if he can prove himself today and uh, prove to Tottenham fans that they should buy him. Now, this is where the team gets interesting for Tottenham. Yeah. They don't have a striker today. No. They're front two. They do have two strikers on the pitch, but it's two wingers, Bergwijn and Lamella. Yeah. What do you think about that, Dad? Unless they're playing Sissoko up front as a lump, I really don't know what they're doing. I really don't know what they're doing. Bergwijn it's... and Lamella. It's all a bit under-inspiring, to be quite honest. Well, you never know. Bergwijn did it in big games against City, and I think Liverpool as well last season. Yes. He loves a big game. He's 22 years old. He is. And he had a good game against Newcastle. Overall, I think this man, he's, he's one to impress, and he can play up front. Uh, it does show. Yes. So maybe he could be the danger man for Tottenham today. Absolutely. I've seen him when he's been superb. He's not perhaps had as much game time at Tottenham as he'd have hoped for. Yeah. You know, he came from PSV, didn't he, for 27 million. A Dutch international. Yeah. So again, let's keep an eye on him. Yeah, we Big will. Big chance for him. And another man who is going to be rotated a lot more when Gareth Bale comes in. But Eric Lamella, been at Tottenham for absolutely ages. The Argentinian winger, 28 years old. Had, I mean, average games against Southampton and Newcastle. But Jose Mourinho seems to like him. 
Yeah. Um, and I just think with him, I think it's going to be interesting to see how he does today as a striker. Yeah. He, I mean, it, it says that he can play striker as well. Yeah. But I mean, it, we've seen Lamella play up front. It, he's not a natural striker at all. Yeah. He should be on the wing. He doesn't have the, the physical capabilities to play up front. I've always thought he's a good player, but not a great player. Yeah, this, this uh, is the problem, uh, Dad. Regulon yeah. is going to give them loads of service today, but who's going to score the headers? I know, I know. Who's going to score the headers? Yeah. Unless Sissoko literally plays as a number nine, and it wouldn't surprise me if Jose Mourinho does that, I can't see Regulon really finding anybody because Lamella, he likes to be on the wing, has space and time to do what he wants. Yeah. Bergwijn is, okay, maybe a bit more of a snapshot taker, but not in the air. So I don't really know what Jose is thinking today. No, and I, I agree with you, Theo. But I do look at those players and I think there's, there's guys there who've got a lot to prove. Yeah. And Dembele yeah. and Bergwijn in particular. Okay. So let's see. Let, you know, let's not let's write see. Tottenham let's, off. Exactly. It, it's an interesting formation. There's a lot of lads that want to impress. We'll find out. Let's get on to the Chelsea team. And this is probably the most interesting part of the day. Edouard Mendy is going to make his Chelsea debut in the Carabao Cup. All the Chelsea fans will be watching it. Kepper is finally dropped. He's 28. I, I didn't realise. I thought he was younger. Yeah, so we said a few words about him earlier. Yeah. Six years ago, he didn't have a team. That's and he mad. actually signed on the dole. He went down to the unemployment office no and way. signed on the dole. So this is a lad who's been through a lot of stuff in his life. He's a Senegalese international. I think he's yeah. played seven times for Senegal. Correct. So I wonder if any of the African subscribers are watching this game with us. Listen, data-wise, he's yeah. brilliant, okay? Yes. However... Is he going to be able to handle the pressures of filling Kepa's boots, knowing the last keeper did really badly and had mistakes? There could be some sort of mental curse there. Yeah. It's going to be difficult. There's going to be pressure on him to impress. Yes. Because he, they're basically depending on him performing. Because, guys, remember with goalkeepers, if you have a number one goalkeeper, there's not much rotation involved. It's yeah. either you're the one or you're not. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, that's why Kepa stayed as the goalkeeper, even though he flopped for so many years. Because you don't want to change it. You, the, the players get ready for a system. And that's why I think Spurs might have the advantage. Because Lloris... Everybody knows how he plays, yes. but Mendy is fresh in the team, isn't he? He is, and Chelsea are looking for a Petr Cech-type keeper yeah. who will just take control of those gloves for the next five years. Now, Could he be the man? He could be. Okay. To be quite honest, none of us really know. I've thrown out the stats about his height. I've thrown out the stats about he's a good shot Yeah, look stopper. at this stat. 197 centimetres. Bloody massive. It's six foot six. The new Pantillamon of the, of, the, uh, of the Premier League. Absolutely. Or by, the Carabao by, Cup. By all accounts, he's good with the ball at his feet, which is important. Yeah. And I've heard that as a character, he's fairly quiet in the dressing room. Okay. Fairly reserved. You don't always want that as a goalkeeper, to be honest. I mean, Petr Cech wasn't yes, reserved. If yes. something wasn't happening, he shouted. That's dressing room. Look, I don't know enough about him, so okay. we, we all look forward to this. Okay. Interestingly, um, four million Stadrem paid from him yeah. uh, from the Marseille B. Is that right? And and now Chelsea have signed him for twenty-seven million. I thought he was much younger. I don't know why. He's, no, I, don't, no. I don't know why I thought that. But he's twenty-eight, which which brings experience. You don't want to throw in a young goalkeeper. No, that's you don't for sure. want a kid. Yeah. But I mean, he's a shot stopper, and I hope he can keep up his form in. The, in the Premier League as well as the Carabao Cup. I would love to see the lad do well. And what I've heard is that some of the other Senegalese players in the UK, like Sadio Mane, Mane have, uh, have been Ismail Assar yeah. until he went down to the Championship. Yeah, I've, I've heard that they've you know given him a call and welcomed him to England and stuff, and that's nice. That's cool. The centre backs today is Zuma. Um, you know, his brother played for Bolton last season. The yeah. French 25-year-old uh, played against Barnsley. He was solid. They did get a lot of shots off again. again Barnsley got yeah. like 11 shots in. But no, Zuma's a solid centre-back. We all know that, right? He's solid, but he's got a mistake in him. He's got more True. mistakes than many centre-backs. Well, that's why Frank Lampard won't play him in the Prem. Yeah. However, after that West Brom game, Thiago Silva made a mistake. Everybody's got a mistake in him. They do. Everybody, but... even VVD. But he's got a lot of mistakes in him. Okay, okay, fair enough. But the man next to him, Fikayo Tomori, um, 22 years old, he had a good game against Barnsley, and he was about to go on loan to a Premier League club. I, I don't know if it was Newcastle, but he was about to go on loan somewhere, and the, the deal fell through. Yeah. And now he's just going to be playing in the cup games, backup centre-back type role. Um, but for a man that's 22, you probably want to get game time. So be yeah. interesting to see what develops over the next few weeks as we get nearer to the transfer uh, closing. Yeah. But he's a good player, isn't well, he, Dad? you know, there was a bit of buzz about him a year or two ago. Yeah. But he's never really broken into the first team and stayed there, has he? No, he's that's actually true. actually played for England. Really? He was born in Canada. He had one cap for England. I can't remember what it was. Was it? It but, wasn't. It's, no, I, th I remember we yeah. were at the game. It was um, against Kosovo. Was it? I okay. think it was against Kosovo. That's I might interesting. be wrong. 
But the thing is, you just wonder whether he's going to become a, like an EFL Cup player. No, I think I think he'll be Premier League standard at least, Dad. Yeah. And if that means go abroad like Chris Smalling, so be it. Right. So be it. Yeah. Anyway, Kovacic and Jorginho are the holding mids for Chelsea today. Starting with Kovacic, we're in the Balkan country of Montenegro, which yeah. borders his home country of Croatia. He had a very good game against Barnsley. He's been good in the Premier League too. Kovacic is just a great player, isn't he? He's a very, very good football great player. Great at driving with the ball. Similar to Sissoko. They both got a midfielder that can drive with the ball. Absolutely, Theo. Played 58 times for Croatia. Yeah. Came from Real Madrid. I mean, that says it all, says really, it all. doesn't it? But they, then again, Real Madrid do have a lot of stinkers, like all these <laughs> bloody Brazilian wingers they're signing. They're yeah. not all world class. Yeah. Next to him today, and uh, the big step up, Jorginho, penalty taker, 28 years old, had a bit of a poor game against Liverpool though didn't he dad he did didn't yeah. he yeah you know he had one of those off days that we talk about but most of the Chelsea team did I think Frank Lampard was watching on the sidelines thinking I could probably play Jorginho's role better and I'm the manager <laughs> yeah now this is an, an established Italian international played yeah. 23 times for his country yeah came from Napoli for 51 million quid two years ago big price tag Good player. Good player. And it's basically the Getson Fernandez plays that similar role for Tottenham, what Jorginho does. Just a linker, a pivot. Someone who can link pull, make defence to attack, you know what I mean? And it, some, some Chelsea fans are surprised he's still in a Chelsea shirt this season because, you know, there was links going back to Italy and stuff like that. One thing that surprised me today was Timo Werner starting yes. the Chelsea team. After yes. the Premier League games, he had that bad game against West Brom. We all denied he missed that sitter hitting the crossbar. Should have scored. Should have bagged me fantasy points. But he bottled it. Yes. Well, I, I'm glad he's playing because he needs a goal. Confidence. Yeah. He needs a goal. We saw Havertz banging a hat-trick against Barnsley and then he looked really sharp in the next yeah. game. Yes. If Werner scores a hat-trick today, well, I'm not saying yeah. he will, but if he gets a goal off the mark, he'll be ready for the Premier League. Absolutely. Now, I look at the three. I look at hudson Adoy, Mount and Werner. Yeah. And this is the reason why Chelsea will win today. Oh, really? You think Chelsea will win yes. today? Hold your predictions for a second, Thog Dad. Let's get on to the last three. Mason Mount, I cannot understand, like... People underrate this guy so much. Probably one of the most underrated footballers yeah. in the Premier League. Yes. Because game after game, he impresses. And he, and he acts... Chelsea fans, I remember when he came in, they treated him like a 50 million signing because they did, had a transfer ban. And, it, you know, he came into the team from the academy. And he's still impressed. And this, this time, this round of the season, he's been impressing. The West Brom second half... He was part of the reason. It was the academy graduates that got them back in that game. Absolutely. You've got to remember that. Absolutely, Theo. He's yep. played 37 times in the Premier League. Yep. And he's already got 13 goal contributions. Now, a lot of those um, appearances will have been as a substitute. Yeah. So he's got end product. He's already scored for England. He's 21 years old. He's brilliant. More important than that, he's a really exciting player. Exactly. And with Havertz coming in the team, he has to step up this round, yeah. uh, this season. And he has with bangers against West Brom and just... Just a top round, yeah. good world round player. Callum Hudson Odoi as well impressed against West yeah. Brom and got himself another game time. I th there's a little bit of a running occurrence of Frank Lampard giving players uh, a start after having a good game, right? Ab absolutely, Theo. Yeah. Now, this is a really exciting player. Oh, he's brilliant, isn't really, he? Really, really good player. People forget how young he is as well. He's still I a teenager. Oh, I know. I, you, guys, if you don't understand, right, there's, there's not much age difference between Callum Hudson Odoi and me. I know. He's in the year above me because he's like one of the early. No, he's, uh, he's oh, in no, the same year as he? November 2000. I'm, yeah, I'm he's in the same oh, year. Oh, yeah, no. He's one of the... Yeah, I'm in the same year as Callum Hudson-Odoi. Put that into perspective. <laughs> Put that into perspective. Yeah. And people have... Because he popped into the scene early when he was like 17, 18, and Chelsea fans treated him, you know, because of the whole Bayern Munich news, people forget how young he is. Yeah, they and do. He's, and last game, Barnsley had a good game. And let's not forget, last game against West Brom, that finish, that link-up play. Um, I forgot who that was with, but he was really good. He's the real deal. He right? is. And he could tear Tottenham apart today. He could. He could. If they don't mark him. However, it's going to be hudson Doy versus Serge Aurier. So that'll be interesting. Well, actually, Reguilon. Reguilon. Yeah. And that'll be interesting, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, let's get on to the final man of the day. Olivier Giroud. Talk about guaranteed goals and quality. This man will always pop up at the right moment and he can also hold up play. Olivier Giroud. This man will give you a goal contribution every second game. Yeah. He, yes, he can hold up play beautifully yeah. and let others catch up around him. He can bang in a Thogdad bullet header. He's, a, he's just a good world run player, isn't he? He is. He's played 99 times for France. He scored 40 goals. He's underrated. 100%. If we did a video about underrated players, yeah. Giroud is all over it. They signed him for 17 million euros because he was getting on, right? Yes. And 
because he was getting on and what he's done for them the job he's done for Chelsea over the last few years is brilliant like when he gets yeah. a chance look at that Arsenal Chelsea France Croatia still bangs them in for I know, France I know, I know. Chelsea Barnsley scored in that game as well he does you know anyway listen that is the final man we're going to talk about the game now the game has started we're going to get straight into the live stream guys that is the game Tottenham versus Chelsea wow. and what we need is some beers cold. yeah we need beers dog dad you go sort them out Right, welcome everybody to the stream. We've got 5,000 of you in here. The game has begun and we're doing a £40 giveaway today. Like, subscribe and get your Tottenham Chelsea predictions in for entering the giveaway. Like, subscribe and leave your Tottenham Chelsea predictions in the comments below. We've got the game in front of us. We're going to be watching the debutants. We're going to be watching some live performances. Get them in the comments now. Tottenham Chelsea predictions. Full-time predictions. And if you're correct, you could win the money. Tottenham early chance here. Bergwijn, let me get the sound on quickly, guys. Sorry, we've got some Serbian commentary, so hopefully our English commentary will be good enough translation for you guys. But And also, tell me in the comments, guys, who do you think is going to have the better debut? Regulon or Chilwell? Left back versus left back. Start versus start. It's their both first start for their, for their, you know, their clubs. Uh, Edouard Mendy as well for Chelsea. It's, it's so weird not seeing Kepa in goal or Caballero. It just so it seems so weird to see someone else in goal for Chelsea, but he's a big lad. He's 28. He's not as uh, as young as some people thought he was, but he's, he's he's definitely got something to to prove today. Definitely. So it will be very interesting to see what he could do. But I'm looking forward to it. We've got the labs. Hashtag cans. Hashtag cans in the comments, guys. Great to see all your predictions coming on. Where do you watch the game on this live stream? Um, and if you're not watching on here, make sure you subscribe and like to enter the £40 giveaway today. Three different winners who get the score right today. Brilliant. And, and it's, it could go either way. So cheers, Dad. Cheers to everyone who's in the stream. Really appreciate you joining us for this one. Yeah. Let us know what you're drinking in the comments below. Mm, that is brilliant. Good. Absolutely brilliant. And here is the man, Hudson Adoy. Already causing twisting problems. Twisting and turning and trying to fire a ball into the area, into the dangerous zone. I think we're going to see a very free-flowing game today. I don't think yes. anybody's going to be holding back. We're going to see it, every player go all out, trying to impress their manager, proving why they deserve a Premier League start. Yeah. Arlen Syeth, thank you for the seven Canadian. Play Football Manager 2021 when it comes out. I'd love to. Yeah, that, yeah. that could be a potential good live stream with Dog Dad. Just don't football ask manager. me to be in it. No, Football Manager is different to FIFA. Oh, is it? Is it's it? different right. to FIFA. It's a little bit more... Right. You have to actually have a brain to play it, you're uh, right? Is that different to Pez? Is that something no, else? No, no, no. Pez and, Pez and FIFA are like, like this. Oh, right, okay. Football Manager is actually quite experienced and quite okay. intellectual, you know? Right, here comes Werner. R Rotashaw mentioned you in uh, Chris MD's new video. Oh, that's nice. Well, that's pretty cool. I have to watch that. Can someone send that to me on Instagram? Somebody send that to me. Someone clip it. Yeah, someone clip that and send it to me. That's, that's brilliant. That'd be very kind. Thank you very much. Right, it is Chelsea. A bit of early Chelsea possession. They're pinging it towards Werner. Yeah. And it goes out towards... Chelsea, I don't know why they always do this. They go direct to Werner. Why? Werner's a quick striker, but he wants to be running over the ball. Okay? Not the ball lumped up to him to hold yeah. up play. If you're going to do long balls, aim for Giroud. Why are you aiming at Werner? Oh, they just put a clip of uh, Kepa on the bench. He looks fuming. He looks <laughs> fuming, guys. Yeah. They put a clip of Kepa on the bench and he's just upset. Yeah. And you know what? It's battle of the fittest, isn't it? If you don't perform, you're out. It is. It's a Darwinian world, you know. Yeah. Simple if you're not as that. up to it, you're out. And there's a clip of Gareth Bale. He's on his phone. He's on his phone. He's, he's not taking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he's snapping get, it. He's getting a selfie. They've got the camera on Gareth Bale. He loves it. If he knew he was on the cameras right now, he'd be watching the game, don't you? Yeah, he's but he's snapping it. He's sending, he's sending videos to his missus he's in not over in Madrid. A golf video or something. Oh, no, he isn't. He's, he's sending photos of the game, probably putting on his Instagram story. Yeah. That is brilliant. But guys, let me know in the comments. When do you think the first goal will come in this game and which goal scorer? So many new players, so many different formations being used in this, in this game. It could be anyone. And that's the beauty of it. So I'm going to read out some of your suggestions in the comments, guys, when you get round to it. How can you live stream this? Um, I just do it. I do all the games, really. Subscribe for more, guys. We do live streams nearly every day. Premier League, Carabao Cup, all of it. And it's the best place to watch the games. Absolutely. The possession so far is almost all Chelsea. Yeah. We're in the fourth minute, and it is a free kick to Chelsea. Lamella. Ghost Picks Jimmy is hey. in the stream. Jimmy, Jimmy, Thank Jimmy. Thank you for the $5 donation, mate. Cheers, lads. TDL Army came strong last night. Much love. Hashtag Good. cans. Always Great strong. to see it. Everybody go over to Ghost Picks Jimmy if you want Callum to join Hudson in. Callum Hudson-Odoi whips across in far too long. He honestly donates way too much to the channel. I saw so many comments saying, why do you donate so much to Falcon's stream? I don't know either. I really don't know. He's just kind. He's just a lovely guy. And, you know, 
for lovely people, you just have to go and support their own channels because yeah. it's, it's a rarity where you get people as nice as this man in this world. So we've got a we've got a gem in Jimmy. There you go. You're in Chris MD's new video. That is pretty cool. Wow. Right, someone send that to me on Instagram because <laughs> we'll have a look at it at half time. That's an idea. That is a very good idea. We'll have a look at that in half time. What minute in the game? Because everybody's saying it. How's Mendy doing? He's not had to do much yet, but I will keep you posted on exactly what's going on. Um, want to know what I'm drinking? I'm drinking water. Good for you. Very healthy drink. Healthier yeah. than me right now. I've been, drinking, right. I've been drinking water the, the rest of the day. A fresh orange juice as well, which isn't too bad. Well, beer is mostly water, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's, the, that's yeah. the way to look at it, guys. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm drinking water. I used to work in a brewery, you know that? Mm. So I know, I know how his beer's made. Yeah. You make good videos. Thank you, Johan. Cheers, mate. Don't forget about the £40 giveaway we've got ongoing today as well. And anybody that hasn't seen our new video yet today, we go through every Premier League club and talk about one FIFA rating they got wrong. So go on the channel now if you've not seen that video. Comment TDL if you've seen it. I want to see how many of you are the true fans, you know? And thank you everyone for watching my video on the Thog Dad yeah. YouTube channel. It's yeah. got up to 20,000 in the last few Come minutes. Come on! Which is superb. Here come Chelsea. Timo Werner linking play with Jorginho. Jorginho oh. looks for Giroud. It's taken down. Well, Mason Mount tries to nick it and Tottenham get there first. Good work there from Undombola. I'm going to call him Undombola. I think he's a, I think he's a brilliant player. Here comes Spurs. Bergwijn playing in Lamella. But Lamella is not as quick as Zuma by Zuma. the looks of it. Although he should have really played it to his feet. I don't know how this striker partnership is going to work between oh. Lamella and, and Bergwijn. Lamella, another foul. He's On Kovacic. You're going to you'll have to watch that. That's two fouls. Kovacic nearly, yeah. nearly sent back to the Balkans there with that tackle. Great to see everybody watching the new video as the well. The referee has a word and says, come on, mate, you can't do that more than... If you do that a third time, you might be in the book. Yeah, exactly. Eric. It's only been seven minutes as well, so it's not expected. What do you think of Eric's haircut? What is everybody's predictions today? Um, I'd love to hear it. We have a £40 giveaway. Like, subscribe, and get your predictions in the comments of that. But I, I genuinely want to read out some of your giveaway entries, right? So let's see what you guys predict, because I want to know. I, this could go any way. I want to know. I don't know how it's going to work. Your score Tottenham. prediction. I've not heard your Oh, score yeah, let's, let's talk about it. I, I think Chelsea will win, but I think there'll be goals. I think it's going to be Tottenham 2, Chelsea 3. The what do you think, Dad? The score will be Tottenham Hotspur Football Club 1, Chelsea Football Club 2. two. And you, you, you're so obvious when you do your predictions. <laughs> I, I only and need so to hear one. Right. And so right. Probably, but what, what, there's no points that go towards this one. Guess you yeah. got it right in the Liverpool game. Yeah, you, Whee! Did. you did, you did. The yeah. Liverpool... Arsenal game was spot on for me, so yeah, not complaining. Where are you watching the game? We're in Montenegro still. Um, yeah, we're not going to leave until COVID rates go down in England. Just got to be safe, but also we like it out here. It's a little bit lonely, but you guys keep us company. That's the main thing. Anyway, Chelsea, Ooh, Mason Mount Mason tried Mount. to find Werner down the wing, but yeah. it was a little bit off, off par from his usual performance. He tried a clever one, didn't he? The thing is, Dad, do you reckon a lot of these lads... Um, they've been playing so much recently, they'll be a little bit more off the ball for this game. Both sides. Um, they shouldn't be. It, okay. it is early in the season. Now, I know it's a bit of a weird season. There wasn't the usual break, was there? No, there wasn't. Um, but no, look, they, they're professional athletes. Yeah, they should be true. fine. They should be fine. Hassab, Hassan has donated £5. Hi, guys, love the streams. I wanted to ask, um, when a game doesn't come on TV, how do, you, uh, how do you stream it? We just basically, we watch the game and we talk about it. That's it. Yeah. Um, and it's great to have you guys on board. Yeah. That's all we like to see. You know, you guys donate and, and join in. Thank you so much for the donation there. Really appreciate it. Yeah. This, we've got some crazy fly trying to sneak your beer here, Dad. Oh, He's drinking it. your beer. He's really? drinking your He's beer. In there. Oh, He's in there. Fighting. He was like, it was dripping down the side. He was drinking. Yeah. How's, how's Chilwell doing? He's barely touched the ball, yeah. guys. Everybody's yeah. asking how the debuts have been. Yeah. But barely, there's not much that's happened, really. It's been a, we'll bit, keep you posted. It's been a bit dull and cagey so far. I think Hasid might be asking how he can watch the game. On now, the YouTube live stream on yeah, his channel. Yes. There we go. Yes. Chelsea 3-2, someone's prediction. 3-2 Spurs, someone says. Okay, goals. I like that. I'm drinking water because yeah. I'm, I'm ill. I'm in Croatia. Ooh. I hope you don't have COVID, mate, because there are some bad rates in Croatia. So I hope you're Whereabouts right. in Croatia, mate? What? Okay, guys. Everyone's commenting saying I'm in Chris MD's new video. Okay, what, what is it about? Is it a bad thing or a good thing? <laughs> I want to know. Someone tell me in the comments. You're getting roasted. So, oh, hopefully not. Um, penalties, someone says. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Um, 
Yeah, if it goes to penalties this game, I want to know, Dad. Yeah. Uh, is there extra time in the Carabao Cup? Do you want to search that and find I out? I don't. I assume there isn't. I assume okay. it goes straight to penalties. Because in the Super Cup there was extra time, so I don't yeah. know if they're starting to bring no. extra time this, back. I think this will be penalties. Okay. I think this will be straight to penalties yeah. as well, especially with how many games are and on actually, the line. And actually, you know, a one-all draw wouldn't be that surprising. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I just. Do you want to move in a tiny bit? I just think. Chelsea have got a little bit more attacking force here. Yeah, yeah, you know, Like I said, Mason, Mount, Werner, Hudson, Adoy. Chelsea have more, but they seem a little bit um, off it today, off the ball from the first few attacks, like right. a little bit more sloppy. And right. you can see when they, when they drop a few big first teamers like Havertz and stuff like that, they, they, they will be a little bit more quaky. You know? well, 10 minutes gone, I think they're just getting a feel for it. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Tottenham, I have no idea what the game plan is today. I don't know what no. Jose Mourinho is thinking. No. To be honest, if I had to predict the future, half time will come and Tottenham haven't scored and he'll bring on Harry Kane. Yeah. Because there isn't a striker on the pitch. For you Spurs fans, I don't know what the job is. I don't know what the way through for you guys. Unless it's a set piece and one of your centre backs score, how are you actually going to score with Lamella and Bergwijn up front? I I don't get it. it yeah. In my head, it doesn't make sense. Bergwijn is an exception, but Lamella, I, I can't see him playing anywhere else but attacking midfield and winger, for me. Yeah. Um, Thogden has hudson Adoy started. <laughs> yes, he has. Yeah. He has started, and I think he'll be pretty good today. I think he'll be pretty good. Did you ever see the Simpsons episode where Homer goes, Money to, watch, Mace. Where Homer goes to watch a soccer game? Have you ever seen that one? I've never seen that. Has anyone in the comments seen that? Yeah, and it's like, they're just passing through, so nothing happens, and they all get bored. <laughs> this reminds me of this game. Yeah. But it's, it, it's, Chelsea are just trying to control possession here. It's, it's terrible. They're just passing do, it do you know why they're doing this, Dad? Because they, yeah. they've got an anxiety of, of the West Brom game. Right. They lost 3-0 when yeah. they attacked them too Come high. On, Callum. And now they're here we go, Callum. Okay, here we go. Right, that's more like it. Okay, Reglon got nutmeg there. Hudson Doyle nearly had a chance up the right, but Eric, Eric Dyer, Dyer straight in there, slide tackling. It's Mopping wow. Up. There's a new YouTube name. Look at that, Dad. Look at the YouTube name someone's made. Thog Dad Goat. Two pound donation. <laughs> and look at his comment. Let's have a look. Thog Dad, you are the goat. Thank you, Thog Dad Goat. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's got a message for you. He's that double double down brilliant. on his message. I am loving that. Good defending there from Reglon. On Dombola heads it. Sissoko takes it, but a little bit off it. Yeah, and Dombele passed it twice to Chelsea. Yeah. And now Chelsea going to pass it around for another good 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Because they're so worried about, about uh, them giving the ball away in a West Brom t uh, times two happening. Chilwell up the left. What can he do? First bit of, uh, bit of ball for him since he joined Chelsea, apart from his 20 minutes against Barnsley. Um, anyway, the, the video is the greatest video you... Roadshaw mentioned you in the Chris MD video. Everybody's saying this, but is it a good thing? Is it a good thing? What did he mention me about? Someone right. tell me in the comments. Mason Mount, Werner, oh, Werner, bad touch. Yeah. Werner loses it, and it goes back into a defensive position. Reguilon gets stuck in there. Good tackle from Reguilon. Doing some defensive capabilities there. Getting a big tackle in on Tamori, actually. So getting up that wing, getting up that wing a bit. Wouldn't shock me if Reguilon plays a bit like a left winger going forward because they need to give a bit of leeway for Lamella and Bergwijn to actually play as a striker if they're playing without wingers. Yes, yeah. It's, I don't know how this formation is going to work. I yeah, really don't. I think, In the future, I can understand what they're going for, Dad. Yes. I can understand what they're going for. They, they're going to try Regulon Doherty as wing-backs in the Prem. Yeah. Um, but they're trying to get Regulon's fitness up, yeah. match fitness, that is. So playing him in this game, is, is, it makes sense. Well, what, you know, what they've done so far, Tottenham, is, is run around... In fact, they're not even running around. They're just yeah, they're, they're, they're allowing they're let, Chelsea to pass it They're allowing it because they know possession doesn't win you football games. It's certainly not this sort of possession. No, definitely Callum not. Callum is the only one who really wants to... Callum gets the ball and looks forward. Yeah, yeah. No one else really wants that. Yeah. And it goes back to that West Brom game. The, team, yeah. the players that played in that first half are, are quaky and not confident. hudson Odoi came in at half-time and they won 3-0 in yeah, the second half. Yeah, they did, they did. So he's yeah. got that confidence mentality. Yeah. So I like a player like Cho. I think he's a real talent. You do, don't Thank you, Lewis Kelly, for the donation. You're always donating, mate. Love the vids, lads. Dog, dad, the goat. Here we go. <laughs> Ghost Picks Jimmy is, Jimmy. is raising, raising the donations and it's worrying me. It I really agree. is. I agree, I agree, Jimmy. Chelsea to win. I agree, mate. Have you got a bet on that? Get, Jimmy, let me know. By less, by sort of... Probably by one goal for me. Yeah, nice beer, mate, Lav. Oh, that is a brilliant name. <laughs> nice beer, mate, Lav. One euro. At <laughs> what point are we going to slap this beer on a clothing line? It's got to happen. Uh, it's got to happen. It's yeah. a beautiful designed uh, beer. And it's only for the inside reference joke banter for the people that watch the streams. Two Hashtag cans, that's what it'll be. Apparently we've got 2K likes already, and I don't know how, but that is really, really nice. Thank you, guys. Right. Tottenham, could it be a breakaway? The answer is no. 
What a guy. What a guy. Oh. Can we get 3K likes, boys? If, if one fifth of you like the video right now, we get 3K likes. And we have a £40 giveaway going on. To enter, you just have to like oh, and subscribe go. with a full time prediction for Tottenham Chelsea. Mason Mount. Looking Mason to create Mount. something. And, and after, in, so. oh, uh, after watching him against West Brom, it wouldn't shock me if he does get a goal contribution today. Ball comes in. Not he picks good up the ball. Mason Mount. Mason Mount. Oh, First shot okay. of the game. Not bad. Get, get, knocking in. Wide. Knocking yeah. in, as they say in cricket. Knocking in, you know? Knocking it in, yeah. Knocking yeah. it in. Yeah. It's knocking in his bat. That's what he's doing. His right foot is his bat, and he's just trying to knock it in. And he's getting his range. That's exactly what he's doing. Yeah. And it wasn't a bad effort, but the yeah. second one, knowing him, probably will go in. When you're Mason Mount, you've got every right to take a shot. Yeah. Every there you right. go. People in the comments saying North London is red. Wow, that is <laughs> questionable. This video is in top 10 YouTube videos. Yeah, good really? man. This one? No, he's just saying in his top 10, I guess. <laughs> That's nice. has tested positive. Wow, that is a shame. It's a shame for Liverpool, really oh, is. Also, the news from the Ogden family is that our, my daughter is in lockdown in Edinburgh, a university. Yeah. Because someone in her halls of residence has got the COVID. Yeah. So she's got to spend two weeks can't leave a dormitory. And she definitely doesn't have COVID. They're just going to yeah. lock her down. They're just going to lock her down. Isn't it shocking? It's isn't shocking, it isn't shocking? it? It's she like... goes to uni to you know, enjoy herself and now she's having to lock down in some... I don't know. At least she's there with her friends. Yeah. It could be... like They're just going to yeah, get I pissed at their, at their uni halls <laughs> and she's got friends to be around. Yeah. It's, we're acting like it's the end of the world. I need to send her a crate of booze, don't Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shall we? The, a, a little lockdown present. I wonder if that's allowed. Yeah. Yeah, of course it is, Dad. I'll ask her. She's like... She's 18. Yeah. Anyway, no, I mean, chill will, will it be delivered? Oh, right. Oh, yeah, of course it will. It's like a present. Yeah. You're, you're, you're the parent of the kid who's... I don't know. Yeah. I don't know the rules. I'm a sad Fulham fan. Yeah. <laughs> it's not looking great. You guys are the best. Thank you, Musa. To Theo, hashtag United play tonight. Oh, do they? Really? That's amazing. That's I didn't actually fly. know that. Yeah, this fly is looking to kill. Yeah. Anyway, right. here come Chelsea. Mount trying oh. to pick out. Oh, Hudson Doy! Oh. Best chance of the game Hudson so far. Adoy. And he hits it on the left foot, but it's too near the goalkeeper down the middle. Hugo Lloris saves it. Yeah. But that's the best chance of the game so far. Hudson Doy gets in the right place. He did, and he struck it well with his left foot, but straight at the keeper. Yeah. The first chance, the first shot on target. Chelsea looking the better team. Yeah, there we go. Almost all the possession. Thanks for 2.5k likes, boys. Let's rage it up to uh, the cheeky 3k as well. Only need 500 more. We've got Arsenal fans in the comments because it's saying North London is red, so it must yeah. be unless they're Nabri fans, unless they're Bayern Munich fans, from yeah. what Nabri tweeted after the game. So thanks. Dad go. Thank you very much. Tell us about this new Facebook yeah, channel of yours. Yeah, after this Give attack... Us, okay, it's cleared it's out. Yeah, we've got a Facebook page um, that's just gone live and we're getting loads of exclusive content out on there. You can only see some of the content on that Facebook page. So if you want to get involved, want to watch it, go over to Facebook and search Thogden. Watch our video, watch our content on there for over a minute. Make sure you do, because that helps us. And also, like, it really appreciates... We, we need to spread our fan base over to that page. And we're on about 4K likes, so maybe we can get out to 5K likes. Just search my YouTube name into Facebook. Lewis Kelly, thanks for two pounds. Can't wait for the merch, mate. Keep up the good work. G guys, can I ask you a question? If I made merch where I put Lav <laughs> on the front, and the serving company will be having the time of their life, They'll probably expand into England. Hopefully won't get copyrighted for that. Yeah. But we'll change it slightly in some way to avoid it. But would you buy that? Would you buy that with a, with a good old quotation? Just I would. A casual lav beer on the front. Maybe a little TDL on the back. A little, little yeah. TDL. I don't yeah. know. It's got to be TDL on there. Something. Hashtag cans. But nothing big. Nothing big. Because I want people to wear it down the street. Yeah, here we go, Theo. I'll spill a quote. Oh, oh nice my God. Regulon has been sent to the shot. Oh, Timo Werner! Oh! Timo Werner he has scored a goal. scores for Chelsea. From outside the area. I'm keeping him in my fantasy there you go. team. That's why he's playing today, Theo. What a shot, Dad. Wow. The goalie could do nothing about it. He just watched it go in. Powerful into the bottom right corner. Optic say, thanks for the £10. I became a member, Thogden. Thogdad the go. Very Cheers, good work mate. from Callum hudson Adoy. Aspilicueta. Oh, oh. Reguilon. Not a good start from him. Gets sent to the shops there. Timo Werner outside of the box. Shoots it. Bang into the bottom right corner. Larice has no idea what to do. Great assist from Aspilicueta from the right. Wow. And a great shot as well. Right you, you, do not, you do not get better shots than that. Timo Werner makes it 1-0. And you know what? If he gets his shooting boots on like that, I'm keeping him on my fantasy team. That yes. is why Chelsea bought him. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. A game on, everyone. Yeah. It looked like it might be a stinker, but... Werner He saved the day for us really He saved the day yeah. And, and it's, it's great to see him score Because 
This is why Lampard played him. He needs exactly. to knock in his confidence. For that reason. And that shot was bloody brilliant as well. Yeah, yeah. He puts away the difficult ones and misses the easy ones. Yes. He really does. Yeah. Anyway, Werner impressing. There we go. First for Chelsea. Brilliant. He finally scores. Here comes Regulon. And he's going to try to oh. beat. Oh, good covering there from Tamori. Oh, Regulon. Regulon. Right. Bit of a knock, maybe. Tamori went sliding in. Is Regulon going to get injured? Regulon went sliding in. On his first ever touch for Spurs. That was mad. And he I... paced Aspilicueta, and then Tamori came running in. Oh, I think it's just Ooh. a bit of a collision there. But Regulon's gone down. He looks in pain. It's just whether hopefully he's not injured. Oh, that can be an injury. Jesus. That can be an injury. That, Jesus. That, I think he's okay. I think it's what you call a knock. Yeah, that's what you call a knock. I think it's a foul by Regulon, actually. Yeah, potentially. But I think the referee's given it as a drop ball. Drop ball to Chelsea. Understandable. Yeah, yeah. But Regulon showing off his pace. Yeah. But Tamori showing off his pace too by covering there for Aspilicueta. Anyway, thank you, Bomen Bognet, for becoming a member of the YouTube channel. Really appreciate it, mate. Everybody in the comments saying, it's Timo time. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody new to the stream? I just want to say to any newcomers, we're giving away £40 in the stream to three different winners that can predict the final score correctly for Tottenham Chelsea. Simple as that. Get your score predictions in in the live chat and I'll be DMing the winners on Instagram if you DM me proof that you've entered. Make sure you like and subscribe too and we will be checking that. Get it done. And, and also, get notifications on. You've got to get that done. Do you want to read that out? Ghost Picks, Jimmy, Thunder, Let's Go, TDL, Army. Hashtag Chelsea. There we go. Ghost picks Jimmy's coming through again. Yeah. Great to see you, mate. Jimmy, did you win with that? I'd love to know. Yeah. And oh yeah, yeah, he did, didn't he? Any tips as well for the for the next for the future of the game? What else do you think? Do you think Chelsea gonna win? Yeah, he does. He okay, does. cool. He does. Everyone's saying it's Timo time in the comments. Yeah, yeah. And it is, it is. Thunder. Like the that. angry ramp man won't be that angry after this game. He won't be very angry. <laughs> I like the angry ramp man. He does cricket content as well. I'm thinking about doing cricket content. Oh, you like cricket, Adam. I might start a cricket second channel. You know, now that you're an international cricketer. Yeah. From Montenegro. Someone tell me in the comments. I, I know I'm in Chris MD's new video, because Rotashaw apparently mentions me. But what does he say about me? Because I've not watched the video yet. Maybe we'll watch it at half time. Yeah. And does anyone know the minute, the time scale? Because everyone's saying it in the comments. What's your favourite NBA team? Um, I don't really have one, do you? I, I don't either. Never when you uh, went is, over to New York. It's the NBA, National Basket, uh, yeah, Chica Basketball. Chicago Bulls. You support the Chicago team? Well, yeah, look. I'm is just, that just I, the team you I know? Just, I just named a random. Bergwijn's through here! Bergwijn! He's still on the ball! <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Bergwijn was clean through. Right. I think he got past Have Edward a look Mendy. at that, because that's a penalty, surely. Tottenham players are screaming for VAR to be checked. Check VAR. The referee's saying no way. Uh, but in the 23rd minute, it looks like Chelsea are getting away with murder here. Wow. Could it have been a foul from Zuma? No. Potentially, Gedson Fernandez just had to shoot. Oh my god. He tries to get the ball under his feet. It's the weirdest he thing. He could have just kicked it. Let's have a look. He tried to control it. He could have just kicked Good it. Tackle. He kept going. And that, this sort of. Uh, he just needed to kick it there. It's difficult, Whoa. really. It really He's is falling difficult. falling down. It could be a foul. It that could be stunted his back. No, it's not. That's not a foul. Okay. And the referee Corner doesn't even check who you are. Tottenham. Lamella gets the Whipped ball in. in. Oh, Edward Mendy makes. Mendy. Gets off his line yeah, there. He does. Gets, gets to six yards. And there we go. Punches it out. Regulon beats Werner. He's going to shoot. Get it. Ball in. Good ball from Regulon. Oh, I like very that. good ball. Regulon proving. And oh. Eric Dyer getting in the way of Mendy. <laughs> it's so Eric Dyer. He's such a thug. He, it's like he's, he's made for the streets, not football. He's uh -huh. a thug. He'll just get in the way. He's Street, just a bit of a lump. Streets of Lisbon. Yeah. He literally was made for the streets of, of inner city London or inner city Lisbon. That's it. <laughs> that is it. He's just a thug. That is it. Anyway, and we all know that meme of the, uh, the Eric Dyer lookalike doing that dance like this. Mendy's going to catch that. That's yeah, he what does. he does. He does. He catches Edouard balls. Mendy, already the, me the, the, uh, the impression I'm getting of Mendy uh, compared to Kepa is he's a lot more better in the air. He runs out from corners, and what we didn't used to see from Kepa, from corners he'd stand on his goal line and try and make a reflex save, yeah. because he knows he doesn't have the strength to get in the way of strikers. Edouard Mendy, going in front of the strikers, catching the ball, saying F off to the opposition and catching it. And that is something that the strength of a goalkeeper is really important. It's good to see. He certainly controls his area, that's what I'm seeing, but here come Chelsea. Oh, they're sh I'm just showing They're showing the goal. Yeah. I mean, Thogdad, you'd be thinking it's 2-0 right now because of Timo Werner. Yeah. It was a bullet shot from Werner, it by the way. It was, yeah. A poacher's finish. Great work from season. To be honest, I don't think I'll sell him. After this goal, I don't think I'll sell him. Yeah. Because it's great for his confidence. 
Um, it's William McCowan. Thank you for the five pounds. Good luck for Bolton, mate. What do you, what do you think about the Saints? I think you're a good team, oh, mate. Yeah, decent. And decent. somebody, thanks for two pounds. Hey, TDL, if you want to prevent spam, put slow mode. True, you could do that. Yeah. J Jack McAnee, thanks for five pounds. There. Where is Thogmom? I love you guys. Thogmom is currently back in London. She's just writing a book, actually. She's an author, so she's writing a book. Yeah. Dr. Thogmom. 210 in, in my new video. Okay, uh, guys, at half time, we're going to go over to Chris MD's new video and watch where I am. Two minutes, 10. 210. Two Remember ten. that, Dad. Yeah, I will. Anyway, Chelsea on the ball again. They're holding so much possession, it's unbelievable. But, I mean, it, it just shows it doesn't always work because, you know, Tottenham had that really good oh, chance. Here we go. On another day, it could be 1 1 right now from oh. a penalty. But this new free at the back system is it's new. Tottenham aren't used to it. They're not, their yeah. cohesion of this formation, it, they're, they're not as ready. Um, they're going to get less chances, simple as that. Yes. Yeah. They certainly seem like the away team, Tottenham. They do, don't they? they do, yes. they do. Yeah. It is, yeah, it's very true. I, I completely forgot I that just, Chelsea were the away team. I know, I know. There's just more attacking talent in, with blue shirts on. And I think more of these Chelsea lads played with each other before because you don't actually often see Sissoko and Ndombele yeah. playing together. Usually Verna. Winks. Winks Ooh. or Eric dies in the midfield from, from, from previous seasons. Lamella does well to win a free kick there. I, I just don't know if Spurs are really going to score without a striker. They're playing Bergwijn and Lamella up front. I don't they get it. Are. I just wonder who is on the bench today. Harry Kane, Dad. Harry, Harry Kane. Kane. <laughs> I mean, there's I, your answer. Honestly, there's your if, answer. if it stays like this and Chelsea are losing a half-time, I said it at the start, I said it before when it was nil-nil, Jose Mourinho will bring on Harry Kane yeah. because I think it's a mistake. And I think it's a mistake. And you've got Lucas Moura there as well, Theo. Oh, really? That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. But you need a bit more of a henchman. Yeah. You need a bit more of a henchman if you're playing Bergwijn or Lamella next to him. Yeah. I would take off Lamella at half-time and bring on Harry Kane. To be honest, if he takes the Carabao Cup seriously, seriously. Oh my God, the high line from Chelsea that was unbelievable. What was Lamella's that? fuming. He's saying, he's saying, okay, well, we need to actually get medical staff on for oh, Zuma, right. who's gone down for Chelsea, but Holding Tottenham, his Tottenham players are fuming. He's, they're saying he's diving and stuff, but Jose Mourinho is also fuming. He's going yeah, like this, yeah. he's going like this. Jose Mourinho, this is why people... Frank right, Lampard, Lampard's giving it lip. Oh, Lampard and Mourinho giving it lip on the sideline here. And this is brilliant. With a local TV, they don't show it's this. Kicking off. They don't show this on, on, yeah, on, yeah. Uh, on English channels. But on local TV here, Arena Sport 4, they're just showing a camera between the EA third official and Mourinho and Lampard giving it lip back and forth. It's brilliant. I wish I could show you guys. <laughs> Lampard, and, Lampard and Mourinho just having a little bit of a, um, a dissing battle on the sidelines right now. It's what you pay for, really. Jose's giving it the big one. He is. Frank's and Lampard, it off. No, Lampard's giving it back. He loves it. He loves yeah, it. Yeah. Optics say, thanks for five pounds. 209 and I won't spoil what he said. Oh yeah, no one's spoiling it in the comments, which is mad. I don't know why, I, I want to know, but yeah, thank you. Uh, no, Frank's just laughing. He's giving it back. Yeah, they are, he's giving it back. <laughs> we love it. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Right, we'll read about that in the papers tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Right, again, it's Chelsea coming up through the impressive Cesar Azpilicueta. He's seeing a lot of the ball. He is, a he is. A lot of the ball. Right, at half time, we're going to look at the Chris MD new video because apparently uh, Rotashaw mentioned me, so we'll wait. I subbed with post notifications, thank you. Apparently, there's 70,000 of you. Oh, no, actually, apparently, there's 100,050 of you that have notifications on. But that means there's like 280 of you that don't. So get it done, boys. Get the bloody. You know, get that button on. The notification button. Absolutely. You need to know when we post. It's as simple as that. Yeah, yes. And I hope everyone has watched today's video. We're talking about FIFA 21. Yeah. I haven't got a clue what's going on, but I'm pretending I know what FIFA 21 is. You love to see it. Here comes Regulon. Nearly skipped his own feet there. He is rapid, isn't he, Dad? He is, isn't he? He's great going forward. You can tell that. He's got the pace too. He and sure he will does. be a massive signing for Spurs. Anyway, Tottenham just playing around at the back right now in that three-back formation, giving them a little bit more leeway when they're playing around with it. Timo Werner, high pressing there, gets the interception, but a throw in near the halfway line for Tottenham to come on the right side. Anyway, love your content. Thank you, man. We've hit 3K likes. Thank you, guys. Very, very good. And we've got 5.5K of you in here, so let's try and get 4K. Let's keep building on. Let's try and build it on, guys. It would be amazing. Right. And also, have you all watched my FIFA 21 video today? We went through every Premier League team and we gave them a... Uh, we, we picked every wrong rating that EA did. It's a, it's a really good video. 
Um, and if you care about FIFA 21 and you know lo lo Premier League, it's a perfect mix for you. New videos on the channel. If anybody's not watched it, go over there now. Forget the stream. Go over there and watch the video. It's really good as well. True Ross, thanks for $5. Thoughts on West Ham, who should they sign? Tarkowski, I know you're linked with him, it'll be a good signing. What position needs improvement? Clearly a centre-back, because that's what you're in for. Yeah, I mean, we were sort of, we were a bit worried about West Ham, and then they went and spanked Wolves 4-0, didn't they? It was amazing. It's amazing. And, and what's even more amazing, David Moyes wasn't even in the stadium. Wasn't he? No, he was Why? banned. Hudson Doy here Hudson on the right. Doy. Great chance. Cuts in on his left. Slips. Down. Eric Dyer's marking him, but he's got time to get up because it's Eric Dyer. Oh, beautiful! Verna, Verna. Oh. takes it down a little bit too far, loses his chance to shoot. And yeah, it looks like they've lost the chance here. From some good defending oh for Tamori. I tell you what, that Tamori and Zuma today have been sliding in and getting stuck <laughs> in. They're both trying to prove to Frank Lampard that they are the man for has the Premier League. Has it been raining in London? It looks a bit slippery. Yeah, it does actually. Well, yeah. actually, you think it's slippery, but it's just Zuma and Tamori slide tackling <laughs> at any possible opportunity. Yeah. AZR, thank you for uh, the two pounds, oh, mate. Don't go. <laughs> you don't want to see the Chris MD vid. Is it a good video? I want to know. And also, um, what else? What else? It's Timo time, people are saying. Love that. Yeah. I want to know, what do they actually say about me now? You've, you've created suspense. <laughs> you created suspense. We will see later. Callum hudson Adoy. whenever he gets the ball, he looks dangerous. Yeah. Rapid, down the right, crosses it in. Unlucky, out there. unlucky. Tell you what, Tanganga, being very solid today, playing that right centre-back role. And for a man that's 21, he looks more, look very mature. And yeah, we, we know everybody likes him. Thog that goat, thanks for 79p. <laughs> Jose's fuming. Get the stream to 4K likes, yeah. And remember, we are still, we've still got a, a live 40 pound giveaway. So like, subscribe, and uh, make sure you leave your full-time prediction for that. So well. Hudson Adoy there just tackled Regulon. Yeah. And yeah, just a little bit of a foul. And Jose went over and had a few words. Did not like it one bit. Yeah. Regulon. Back to Ndombele, over to Eric Dyer. He's having a look around. And Don Bellet, Tottenham press it, pushing it around, getting a little bit of much needed possession. Here they come. Up the left wing, Regulon. Regulon, Lamella, Bergwijn, linking a bit of play here. Switching play, Ndombele, intercepted ball. by Chelsea. Poor ball. So, what did they actually say in the video, guys? Let me know. I've not, I've not watched it yet, so let me know. Anyway, Chelsea building up something here. Chill well. He's been a little bit quiet. He's, I'd say he's the one debutant that we haven't seen much of. Mendy's yeah. look good, um, but we've seen more from, from some of the other lads, haven't we? Yes, yes, we have. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Regalon, edge of the box. What can he work? Oh, a bit clever. Tried to be clever. And Thank is... you, Kyle Brown, for two pounds. Do you know Sam? No. But maybe, maybe I do. I don't know. What, did, what exactly did he say, guys? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> we'll see it at half time there. Oh, they have a funny clip of you sniffing your dad. What? What? <laughs> Mental. That's pretty funny. They were just laughing at a video. Fair play. <laughs> oh, that's, that's funny for hard. See what I'm trying to say. Okay. He says there's sexual tension between... between suck uh, your mum. Oh, suck your mum, yeah. <laughs> that's funny, that's funny. That's bants, guys. That's fine. That's fine. We don't mind. We'll have to do a little diss track, shall we? Yeah. I love your videos and I hope you hit one million subs. Wow, Cheers, wow. Dad. Really appreciate it. Give it a year, a year and a half, I think. Right, the score is Tottenham nil, Chelsea won, as we expected. Not being a classic, but Timo Werner, the story maker, he scored a goal with a good, good shot yeah. from the edge of the box. And that separates the teams. And I'd say, yeah, not a classic. It has a sort of feel of a bit of a training game at yeah. times. Chelsea just pushing it around. Not a lot of pressing. Not a lot of urgency. Yeah. You know, that, that, it's a shame, that, really. They're taking their time. They They're are, happy. Yeah. But having said that, when it gets to that man, number 20, Callum hudson and Doy, yeah. things start to get a bit exciting. Yeah, definitely. Here come Tottenham. Getson Fernandez getting for a few, but then the tackle comes yeah. in and it's a uh, good feet. Good feet from Getson. Yeah. And Dombele will take this free kick in his own half. Someone in the comments says they've done 30k steps today. Fair wow. play. Jack McAnee, thanks for the 70. Yeah, very mate. impressive. Here comes Regulon. What can he do today? Let's find out. 
Hit ball control there from Undombele using his body well. But Jorginho gets the tackling. Corey Langbridge, thanks for five pounds. Thoughts on Lamptey possible going to Bayern? Wow, wow. Interesting, wow. very interesting. Um, Surely they won't let that happen. I saw this happen, right? I, I, yeah. I saw this transfer news and I thought, if I was Lamptey, I'd stay at Brighton because yeah. you're guaranteeing yourself game time. But yeah, yeah. you saw Alfonso go over there and he pretty much made his high-level career and got game time. So I think Lamptey would get game. Like yes. Jude Bellingham is. Yes. Maybe it's Here come Tottenham. Lamella! Oh, oh Edward Mendy goodness. with a good feet save good there. Good save, Mendy. I'm sure Chelsea fans would be saying right now that... Um, and Mendy jumps yeah. and collects it. Well Mendy done, proving, Mendy. Mendy proving to be a very good signing so far. Wow. Done everything he can do. Um, really good save with the feet. Lamella shooting with his weak foot. It wasn't hard to... No, I'm tell you what. Well done, Mendy. Saved it with his legs. Yeah. Anything will do. When you're a keeper, save it any way you can. I've hit 385k subs. Thank you, guys. Brilliant. Cheers. Really That's appreciate amazing. the support. Appreciate the support. That guys. is amazing. A thousand a day. Yeah. And it's, the ball is back with Chelsea. They're pushing up the left wing. Good, good, uh, good bit of defending there from... Was that Gedson Fernandes? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, he's tr really trying to, yes. trying to get that contract. <laughs> he is. He's trying to impress, isn't he? Yeah. Eric Dyer has the ball. Alderweireld passes it. I'm going to quickly see what's going on on Chris of these new videos. <laughs> Alderweireld again. Lumps the ball upfield and it has, as Russians say, biz address with no address. But Zuma is judged to have committed a foul. Theo's checking out the video that he's in from some famous YouTuber. Free yeah. kick to Tottenham inside the half. So tell me, everyone, where are you watching this? We are in Montenegro today. Whereabouts are you in the world? Some of yeah, you, let obviously, us know. from the United States, based upon the, the donations we've had. Yeah. I guess some of you are in London. Who supports and who do you support? Yeah, let us know. Go on, let's have the comments, because this is not a classic so far. Not being a classic at all. Here come Tottenham on the ball. Eric or uh, Alderfield? There we go. Yes. It will be interesting to see over the next few um, few years if Eric Dyer becomes a regular for Tottenham yeah. as a centre back because obviously he's been a little bit shaky here and there. But if he can perfect his 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 position and get really suited to playing centre back, it could be interesting. Yeah. Hudson and Doyle. Hudson and Doyle. What can he do? With the ball. Oh, nice, nice bit of nice skill. Little skill. He yeah. thought, you know what? Let's just send it back. Take our yes. time again. Yes. Fair play to him. Chilwell, Kovacic, playing it, switching over to the right back there, over to Aspilicueta, Hudson Doy. Chelsea taking their time, Chelsea taking their time. Yeah, guys, let me know where you're from as well in the comments because oh, it's always fun seeing this. Kenya, it's already coming in. Jamaica, and Leicester, Jamaica, Nottingham Forest fans in here. Watching from the USA, brilliant. Thank you for that donation. Kenya, Italy, loving it, guys. We've got people from Newcastle. Lots of different Plymouth, British teams. Qatar, Bournemouth, USA. We've, got, we've always got loads of USA. Lemons, NZ, great. Watching from the USA. Yeah. What does the NZ stand for? I always thought it was New Zealand, but maybe it's not. Lemons, NZ. Tim O'Brien heads it down. Wow, you guys from bloody everywhere. That's pretty, <laughs> yeah. pretty nutty right there. Absolutely. Aspi playing it into Giroud here. Giroud, bit, well, he, he bit, hit it, got tackled. Wayward. Here come Chelsea, Timo Werner. Nice play. Up the left, playing it backwards. They're taking their time. Chelsea are happy being 1-0. I think, I think they're happy at the break being 1-0 up. Yeah. I think it's as simple as that. Yeah. Um, I think it's a pretty, pretty good performance. I think I, was, I think I was spot on with Tottenham. Yeah. Um, I guessed correctly when I said, like, there's just been a lack of... A lack of oomph going forward. They don't really have. That has. Yeah. They don't have a man like Harry Kane to play the ball yeah. into. There's a lack There's of. There's just been that one chance from Lamella. Lamella, really. and they and had that, that half chance. Was it Bergwijn? But then again, you need more than two chances. No, yeah. it's Gedson Fernandez. Gedson but you need Fernandes, you need more yeah. than two chances to really hit home. You yeah. look at Chelsea. They had that Werner chance, but they've also had a few others. But they've yeah. also kept possession, controlled the game, and also not needed to go forward because they're winning. Yes, absolutely. They're taking their time. So, yeah. They're happy to, to win this draw 1-0 by the looks of it. Probably get a second in the second half, but yeah, very interesting. Yeah. 
thank you, F1ology, for the donation, mate. Three pounds. He says, Fulham Broadway. Yeah. Are you from Fulham Broadway? Interesting. I'd love to know how many passes and touches there have been in this half. Yeah. It's a phenomenal number. Yeah, it's been mental. Most of them, a lot of them sort of sideways or backwards. David and Maya, thanks for the donation. But Kovacic is tackled. And, oh my goodness, there was a chance for Spurs to break away. But it was Mason Mount winning back yeah. possession yep. immediately. Yep. And the ball is with Jorginho. How, he's had loads of touches. And he's pumped it up towards Callum hudson Adoy. But he's obviously offside. Yeah, there we go. Watching from Colombia. Love that, guys. Wow, amazing. South American fans in there, right? Absolutely. David Amaya, thanks for the $3 donation, mate. Really appreciate it. I remember that video you did, Theo. With oh, yeah, I saw... Colombia. Oh, yeah, that was amazing. I, I wonder, did, was that the first video you watched? Because that was a while ago, so it's pretty interesting. Are you... I don't know if you found them from the live streams or you found us from the England vlog, but it's cool to see some people stick around, you know? I appreciate all the support anyway. Ah, that's interesting. Now, Harry Kane might be starting to strip off and get ready. He might have been told to warm up, although it's the 41st minute. You wouldn't expect him to come in now, would you, Theo? Yeah. But maybe at half time, Jose will give, you know, give Harry a half. Yeah, potentially. Yeah. You do not want to lose to Chelsea. These are rivals. If you don't know, if you're maybe from somewhere, you know, a long way from, the, from England, these are both London clubs. This is a bit of a derby. Even though there's no fans, even though it's the EFL Cup, this game matters. Tottenham won it back. Here they come. Here comes Regalon. But he's knocked off the ball by Callum hudson Adoy. Chelsea here. Mason Mount. Mason Mount keeps it in. Oh, he's judged to have gone out. Yeah, just gone out there. Now we're going to see Tottenham have a little attack. Four minutes till the break. And the I'm a neutral, I want extra time. I, I don't yeah. think there's extra time, I think it's straight to penalties. Yeah. Uh, we're neutrals as well, we just like to see goals. Really. Here we go. Here we go, Getson. Oh, Intercepted Getson. by Chilwell. Getson wins it back. Tottenham, Tottenham push it back Eric Dyer has it very deep tries the long ball pretty accurate but Ooh. Chilwell gets her first yeah good effort towards Serge Aurier doesn't quite work yeah coming up to the break 42nd minute thoughts on Bale well I think it was a great signing for Tottenham of course but he's not in the team yet he's still got a little bit of an injury problem yeah we're going to see more of him we're going to see more of him it's going to be interesting to see how we can do in the Premier League yeah. No, this is a, a fascinating move, as we all know. Yeah. And, you know, just to give a plug to the Irish guy, because he made a great video about when Bale was at Real Madrid. He did yeah. seven years there. And I'd say certainly six of them were absolutely superb. When you yeah. look at his stats, yeah. he was an amazing player. Here, here come Tottenham. Lamella building something up here. Oh, was, was he fouled? No, he wasn't fouled. He was pushed off the ball. And it's a chance for Chelsea to break. Callum hudson Adoy. Whenever space he gets it, it's dangerous. And oh. oh, he is well tackled. Who was that that tackled him? I think it was Regulon with a massive tackle there. Big tackle, that. So even Regulon showing to, to Tottenham that it's not, it's not just attacking going forward that what he can offer. He can do the defensive capabilities as well. Lamella. Trying to play in Bergwijn there. Interesting. Oh. So, yeah, so as I was saying about Gareth Bale, if you don't know, if you've been living under a rock, he was, I think, one of the most important players in Real Madrid's recent history. Yeah. But, of course, Zidane doesn't like him, and he's been frozen out, hasn't he, Theo? Yeah. One of, you know, one of the best players in Europe, frozen out the last couple of years. Last season, with being frozen out, with maybe a couple of niggles, I can't remember. Yeah. Two goals, two assists, not a great season. And now he's on the way to Tottenham Hotspur, his old club. And he's nearly back. He's yeah. nearly back from injury. Yeah. Back to full fitness. Maybe we'll see a start in the next, I don't know about Saturday, but maybe the week after. It'll be interesting to see. Now, I mean, coming up to the halftime whistle, we can't, we, yeah. Bale's not on the bench yet. Regulon's starting, but Bale's not on the bench yet. But yeah. someone who is, is Harry Kane. Yeah. Um, and would you bring him on at the break, Dad? Because we're getting up to the... Is, yes. Tottenham have only had one shot on target all game. They barely show much going forward. Like, 
It's been a little bit lacklustre, hasn't it? It has, Theo. It's yeah. been poor, and we expected this. Yeah. And I think, quite honestly, if you... I don't know if you know anything about football, and you look at that Tottenham lineup. Yeah. You're not excited by it. It's true. We weren't. I don't think anyone was excited by that lineup. Yeah, correct. And it hasn't worked. But maybe Jose said to Harry, look, you're coming on at half-time. You know, yeah. you're coming on at half-time. Unless we're 2-0 up, you're coming on. And I suspect that might happen. You might walk out on the 46th minute. Yeah. Um, if not, I'll get him on at 60 minutes because, you know, Harry Kane, he's one of the best players in the world. It's as simple as that. And we've seen recently... Giroud. Giroud. Not it ain't down, but nobody's there. No, Nobody's no. there to take it down. That's, That's the thing. correct, Theo. And players should know Giroud better. They should know that he's going to do that. Yeah. And as we've seen recently, Harry Kane, he's not just a goal scorer, although he's a brilliant goal scorer. We've seen recently the assists he's come up with, five, I think, this season in yeah. the Premier League. quite a few. He can create for others. Yeah. So, yes, he absolutely has to come on. I think Lucas Moore is going to come on. I mean, why? You don't want to just lose timidly to Chelsea. And this Correct. is a, a timid effort so far yeah. from Tottenham Hotspur. It really is. And it's two minutes of added time in the first half. Things need to change for Tottenham. I'd bring on Kane if I was Jose. Yeah. Son's not available to bring on, but I mean, maybe this game wouldn't be 1 0 to Chelsea right now if he was playing and yeah. didn't get that injury. But that's well, another point. What do we know about the injury, Theo? How long is he People are for? asking for a Thog Dad bullet header. <laughs> Bang! There we go. That's a bullet. I'm no football, but. Yeah. That's right. What you love to see. Chilwell. Chilwell. Trying to find Werner. He finds him. Back to Chilwell. Chilwell. Can Chelsea get a second just before half time? That would be a great time to Ooh, score. And that is free a free right, kick. Just before the half time whistle. I'll be back in a sec. I'll, I'll talk about the beers after. But yeah, yeah. Don't prank me. I won't prank you. I won't prank you. Shall I prank him? I, th I know what I'll do. St stay there. Stay there for a second. Let's see if he notices. So if, if you, any of you have just joined the stream, it is Tottenham nil, Chelsea one. Referee reaching for a yellow card late on. So will we see a late chance for Tottenham? Lamella was actually through and it was Kovacic who brought him down. So the Croatian goes into the book. And could this be a late, late chance for Tottenham? And wouldn't it be fun if there's a goal while Theo's out of the room? Nobody, nobody grasp me up. Let's see if he notices. Right. It looks like Lamella will take this free kick from about 35 yards, it's chipped into the area and it comes to nothing and that will be half time. Half time in this EFL Cup. Fourth round game is Tottenham Hotspur nil, Chelsea won. The difference is one goal by that man, Timo Werner. He's come in and he's made the difference today. What? What's this, Dad? What? You're pranking me. What, what's happened? You've changed this. No, I've been wearing this throughout. Oh, yeah, very funny, Dog Dad. You've changed. Yeah, You've changed, Dog changed. Dad. You're so, trying to prank me. Did you see You're me? You're trying to prank did me. Did you see me do it? No, I didn't. But I, I realised. You're observing. Anyway, I heard, I heard movement. Oh, right. I heard okay, movement. I was like, enough. yeah, he's yeah. Jude Russell, thanks for £2. Pounds. <laughs> Thank I really you, appreciate it. Right, let's turn this off. The crappy, crappy adverts. But yeah. Right, that's the first half. 1 0 to Chelsea. Uh, CJ Alvarez, thanks for five pounds. Why are Bolton struggling in League oh, Two? Because part new owner, completely new team, yeah. and it's not always going to do well. Simple as that. It's not yeah. always going to impress. Yeah. Do you speak Montenegro? No, but a lot of them speak English here. It's pretty good. Mala Gavrim pa Yeah, you, you speak a tiny da, da, bit. Da, da, mala, mala. Jude Russell, thanks for the uh, two pounds. Thanks for all the donations, guys. David and Meyer as well. Um, but yeah, thank you, CJ Alvarez. Right, we're going to get back to the lineups. We're going to look at the sofa scores at the halftime. Whistle, we're going to turn off the telly a bit. Yeah, um, you don't like that. It's just a little bit mental. Yeah, it's a little bit in your face, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So just remind us in about 15 minutes, dog dad, right. 45 or something. Well, before we get in there, yeah. I, I'm going to say, let's say the man of, our man of the match before we see what others think. And 
I suppose the difference is the goal from Timo Werner. I don't think he's been man of the match. I think my man of the match is Callum Hudson and Doy, but I think Sofa scores yeah. would give it to Werner because he scored. I think for you Chelsea fans that want to know who's performed, Callum has really impressed. Hudson yeah. and Doy's been a great player. Yeah. Um, I've watched Chris. I'm, I'm not going to watch it. It's going to it's going to spoil my mood, guys, because they're roasting me. I'm going to watch it later. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to watch the video. As, as Pilaqueta, I think, has been lively. Um, he created the assist. Let's see what the experts think. This is what they've gone for: Tottenham, Chelsea, one 0 at the break, and these are the sub score rankings. Expected low sixes for Spurs and a few in their yeah, highs. They've gone for Timo. Sergio Regular on six point seven. Jorginho, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, I mean, uh, Jorginho has been pretty solid as the pivot. Yeah, Timo Werner got a great goal. Yeah. Hudson and Doyle should be higher. Yeah, yeah. Now because he's got no goals or assists, they yeah. they mocked him down. Exactly. But the truth is. He deserves at least a seven for his, what he's done for the team. He's done more than Mason, I think. Yeah. Yeah, 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 true. And Giroud hasn't really done much. Kovacic has been okay. He's been, he got booked. Edouard Mendy know. deserves at least a seven. I think he does. Yeah, he's like, been really good in the air. Yeah. He's he made, that made save. a save, made a yeah. punch, made a save. And yes. so, you know, and also just got out of his line and caught the ball at another time as well. And he's kept a clean sheet so far, which we'll, he'll be very happy about. Absolutely, so, rock solid. It looks like the new keeper signing is, is, is the man. And he could really become the next big thing. He's, he's from Senegal, right, Dad? He is, Theo, yes. Yeah, I was going to say, if he was from, like, France or somewhere, he could start um, competing for a, for a, you know, a national spot. But I, yeah. I guess for Senegal, he's got no competition. He's, he's played a few games for Senegal, okay. yes. Definitely going to play think, more by the looks of it. I think it was, from memory, seven, yeah, seven games he's played for Senegal. Very good start for him. Fair play to them. And I've got to say, Tamori and Zuma, um, for two players that are trying to break through to the first team now with more competition than the Chelsea team, they've both impressed for me. They've both been pretty solid. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've enjoyed watching both of them, really. Zuma um, was nearly a little bit clumsy there when Gedson Fernandez got through. But he didn't really do direct contact, so there was no penalty given. Yeah. And then for Tamori, uh, uh, you know what? I think he's very solid centre-back in general. I think he, sh he should be in the Chelsea team now. But right, right. with Thiago Silva coming in, with Christensen on good form, yeah, it's difficult to break through. Yes, yeah, that's a very good point, Theo. Very yeah, good point. So they've got a lot of options. Um, Asper Laqueta, very solid performance as usual. The club captain putting in a shift. Um, I think more to come from Mason Mount. I think he always creates something special yeah. in the game. I, I think the problem with Tottenham is their front two yeah. are not strikers. They're not. And they've been given a 6.3 and 6.4, which is pretty spot on. Yeah. Uh, both of them not doing anything, and that is true. Um, and that's because look at their heat maps. They're meant to be strikers, and they're all over the pitch. Yeah. They're, they're playing like wingers when they, they should be playing like strikers, and that's the problem. Now, the midfield has done a good job. I think all, all of them are used to the being in their role. I think Gedson Fernandez has been decent. Regulon has caught an eye, but he made a mistake for their, for their goal yeah, because yeah. he let Aspilicueta cut as Regulon slid in. Aurier, um, I think he's been pretty solid. Tangang a 6.2 is harsh. I think that... that, that I, has he been that bad? I don't know why they've done that. Maybe maybe he lost his man for the Timo Werner goal. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah. I think 6.2 is harsh, unless I'm missing something. Yes. Hugo Luis, I mean, 6.3, okay. He made a save, he conceded the goal, but he didn't do much bad. No. Yeah. No, no. Anyway, he, he wasn't... Met, like, the Werner shot, he had no right to stop. Like, yeah. Unless he predicted he was going to hit from that. And he, you know, it was difficult to predict. Yeah. Regular. How many touches has he had? Uh, let's have a look at Ray. He's been involved a lot, hasn't he, Dad? We've been. I seem to notice. Thirty-five touch. Yeah, that's a lot. Touch. That's a lot. It's a lot. He's been above in, and, and look at that heat map. He really gets up the pitch and yeah. he gets involved, and it's it interesting to see, really. Yes. Um, so more to come from that, and it's been a good game so far. It's been a good game, um, and yeah, looking forward to seeing watching the second half. Should we have a little look at what they said on the on the YouTube video? Yeah, go on. Let's yeah. have a look at this yeah. video. Yeah. Let's have a look. Uh, they're just having a bit of bants. You know what? I'll accept that. I'll t I'll accept a little bit of bants. Chris MD, um, <laughs> ranking the top 10 YouTube videos of all time. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. I... Well, you know what? He's put me in the top 10 YouTube videos, so uh, I'll take that 210. Oh, <laughs> there we are. Go back a bit. Let's, let's see that reaction. Let's see that reaction. Go back. Grandma. Yeah, there we go. The famous <laughs> clip. Cut that, bit. that is my grandma. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that's a lot of sexual frustration, I think, there. Am I good to go? Yeah, yeah, jump in, mate. Yes! Oh. There we go. Brilliant. <laughs> Will and E was loving it. Will and E was loving it. What did they say before then? Let's have a look. Should we, should we see what they said before that? Yeah. Okay. Rhythm, fill the ride! No, that's not going to work. This is a clock. What's this? You're a fan. Tom Deacon is in Amsterdam to support. This was a fan. <laughs> I find out what I got up to with my mate. KSI, get in it. <laughs> Don't do that. Oh, <laughs> that is back in the... Oh my God. KSI's had a mess. Oh no! Oh, no! Oh, 
that before. I haven't seen that before. I've never seen that. Either. Stephen, did you find? Did you go searching for that, or was that one that stayed in the mind? Who found this video? Videos from years ago. Yeah. <laughs> the guy behind the camera was like, it's crazy. Okay. Did it? they any build up to our video? <laughs> okay, I want to know. This, this is actually a personal favorite of mine. Yeah. Oh, it's Road to Shore. Of yeah. course it is. Oh, Road to Shore, man. You just knew it would be Road to Shore. Okay. Okay. That's that's the verdict. Overall, I think it's pretty funny. Um, if people ever ever wondered about that video, I would say I was a little bit drunk <laughs> when I made that video. I was a little bit pissed. Yeah. So if any of you are wondering why I had that reaction, do I regret it? No, because it's funny. I had someone in London stop me on the street and you were like, you're the guy who said suck your mum to your dad. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that was me, that yeah. Was me. <laughs> but no, they all wanted photos and stuff and that was all cool. But yeah, I, it's like a, a different audience have, have seen that clip yeah. that haven't yeah. watched our content. It's everywhere, so, isn't it? It is bloody everywhere. <laughs> but Rotashaw, yeah, no, Rotashaw, yeah, he loves it, he loves it. No, that, that, that clip went everywhere and it was unbelievable. Some people overreacted and just tried. People that dislike us yeah. um, on, on social medias and stuff and try, and try just give it all this, they'll, they'll like that yeah. video because they'll use it against us. But yeah. what do you think, Dad? I think it's all publicity. Yeah. That's the irony. Yeah. You know, it's, but do you think that video is funny? Yeah, it's, it's funny. Fancy. It's daft, isn't it? It's daft, isn't it? It's daft. It's, it's, look, what we do tonight is two and a half hours unrehearsed, yeah. just talking to camera. Yeah. We're going to say some stupid stuff. We have a cheeky little beer. You yeah, know. cheers. And sometimes, when there's a bad game, oh yeah, drink to that. Mm. Drink to that indeed. And sometimes, when there's a really bad game, yeah. we just hammer the beers. That must have been a shit game. I don't even talk. know what game it is. Let's find out what game it is. Does it say on the screen what no, game it, it was? Won't. It, it won't. won't. Oh, it was? Oh, was it? Um... Man United 2-0 Palace. Okay. And what minute was it? This is key. Um, yeah, the 98th minute. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah. So I'd, I'd already had about three beers at that point. <laughs> and obviously that's, that's not like me. That's just not me, is no, it? It's no, not, it's, no, it's, 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 it's odd. I was just pissed, right? <laughs> anyway, right. I, I respect that. I, I, I'm, I'm quite happy to get who, into the top 10 cares? videos of all time. I mean, I think in life you can't take yourself too seriously. Yeah. You know, you do I'm still some 19. Stuff. I'm still 19. Who gives God's a sake? damn? I mean, yeah. we all do stuff like that. Imagine at school, at work, you know, you have a laugh with your mates. Of course you now, do. Now, imagine it was then put on YouTube and I shown think, to millions. I think part of the, the bants in that video is your reaction. You yeah. just, I don't know if you put that on or anything, but you just like, Oh, oh, cut that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was a little bit put on, but people true. people thought it's brilliant. Yeah, well, that's good. Yeah, yeah. I know. I've been memed all around the world on it, but you know what? It's brilliant. Anyway, listen. It is a good video, and that is my reaction to that. And uh, yeah, so that's everybody loves Shaw it. There, yeah, yeah they, yeah, they all love it. Stephen yeah. tries. Oh, that's um, Will and E. Will and E. Yeah. Yeah. Chris one of the boys. Uh, any comments about me? Any comments about oh, me? You should make one. I'm theoretically dying a lot. Oh yeah. Is that 50? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's drop him a comment. Love it, lads. Thanks. Thanks for showing the clip. Thanks for the publicity. Oh, this is what you have to do. You know, if you want to get an emoji on YouTube, you have to search laughing uh, emoji. You can't actually... It doesn't give you the option when you're on this. So you go on here, and then you copy it, and you go back. Wow. Everybody, everybody like up the comments, guys. Love it, lads. There we go. Everybody like up the comment. Get it done. Get it up there so they can see it. So Chris MD can see it. All the lads, though, great to see them. And also, guys, I do want to say whilst we're on the screen, I post a new video. Every Premier League club's FIFA 21 rating, EA got wrong. So obviously, we spoke about a few. Tiago for Liverpool, I thought that rating was a disgrace. Um, but let's try and get this video up to 50k views, boys. Everybody get over there, support the video. It would, be, it would mean a lot because, like, we appreciate the support and we're trying to get that video going. So yeah, let's do it. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thank you very much. What about my channel for you? We'll get on to, well, everybody knows the Thog Dad YouTube channel, right? <laughs> if you want to go subscribe to Thog Dad's channel, then you can just search Thog Dad. And uh, yeah, hey, he, he's is. got a video with 20k views and he's got nearly 27k subs. So well done, Dad. It's not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Anyway, right, going back to the game. Tottenham nil, Chelsea won. Kovacic got the yellow card, Werner got the yes, goal. Yes. What do you think is going to happen in the second half, Dad, if you had to predict it? Well, what I think will happen, as you've already said, Theo, is that Harry Kane will come on at some point. You reckon? I think Lucas Moura will come on at some point. Yeah. Um, the cards will be shuffled around by Jose, because whatever he says, he doesn't want to lose this. No, he doesn't. And, and at the end of the day, he doesn't want to lose to his old club as well. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't want to lose to Lampard as well. We saw their beef at the start of the game. Yeah. He wouldn't be angry if he didn't take the game seriously, to be honest with you. He'd, he'd just be sitting in his seat all the game. He wants to win this game. It's all mind games, in my opinion. He yes. wouldn't have played Lloris 
for example. No. This is an interesting game. If you're Tottenham now, who would you bring on? Because I'm going to be straight up and make one change. Harry Kane. Lamella off, Harry Kane on. Yes. Would you bring on a double? Maybe um, a double? No, I'd leave Bergwijn on. I think he can still do a job. But you need a big target man. What they're doing right now is they're lumping yeah. the balls up to the wings along here, right? They're lumping the balls up. And Lamella and Bergwijn are going wide to collect the balls. But then there's no one in the middle. There's nobody in the middle. You're, you're relying on someone like Gedson Fernandes to score goals, like a poacher. That's yeah. not his job, lads. Get a proper striker on. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, cause some havoc. For Chelsea, I wouldn't change anything. I think everything's going well. Could you sacrifice a player in the middle? Maybe. Push, Maybe. Put Harry in there. Go 3-4-3. Three, 3-4-1-2. Four, three. Three, four, three, or 3-4-3. Four, three. Four, three. Yeah, yes. definitely. I mean, I, I don't think the problem's been the midfield three, Dad. I think no, they've no. all done well. No, I'm just... I'm it's them two. In terms of creating chances. Okay. okay. Now, Lamella had a good chance. Maybe just place Soko as a number nine. Yeah. Look, in terms it. of, like, total... This has been a, a pretty drab game. Let's yeah, 28% really possession for Tottenham. It's not going to be a good game, is it? Shots on target, three. Shots off target, one. Two, yeah, one, you know, two. Yeah, it's, it's not it's good. It's not a good game. No, it's not. But at least we've seen a Werner goal. I think that's been the highlight yes, of the game. Yes, uh, But yeah, that's my verdict on it so far, guys. Yeah. And uh, one more thing before we get on back to the game. I just want to go onto Facebook. All right. I want to go on the old Facebook. And I want to show you guys my, my new, pretty simply, my new Facebook page called Fogden. And I'd love everybody to go on here and like and follow it. Okay, just like the page. Because we've got exclusive co content coming on here. If we actually view it as a visitor, you guys should go, go on here and honestly, just, just follow it. Because, look, we've, I've got an exclusive video here of me talking about the, the right, VAR rule. Spurs, heartbroken at and you can go watch this. Like it, share it, get it done. There's 94 comments as well, which is awesome. We posted the Columbia video today as well, which was pretty cool. Just get involved. Watch these videos. We've got different content going up on the Facebook page. We're on about 4K likes. Let's try and push that to 5K. Share the channel. Post it. Get it up there. I, I don't often share my Facebook, but like, if you're true TDL, you will follow the Thogden page. It's just simple as that. I don't know if you guys are still on Facebook. Not many are, but there's exclusive content on there, isn't there, Dad? Yes, and it's worth doing. Yeah, yeah. It's just a little bit different. We're putting a little bit of different stuff on here. Exactly. So it's like a little thank you to people who follow us. Right, the second half has started, and Harry Kane is not coming on the pitch. Give him 15 minutes. Wow, there? that's crazy. Yeah. I thought Harry Kane would come on. Yeah. I thought Harry Kane would be on the pitch, but he's not. Um, I just want to show you guys because I forgot to bring it over, but the Facebook page is, here we go. I don't think it was on there. Thogden Facebook. Uh, and yeah, this is the Thogden Facebook page. Follow Thogden on there. Let's get back to the game as kickoff starts. Here we go. Right, second half is starting. Chelsea to kick off. 1-0. Anything can happen. Just a quick reminder, we have an ongoing giveaway. You know how much I'm giving away if you've been watching. Like, subscribe, follow the page. We've had a few donations from Ghost Picks Jimmy, a $5 and a 9 99 Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. He says, 99 if the TDL army can get my page to 9.5. Hashtag cans, hashtag lav. Everybody Whoa. go follow him then. Look, just go over, to, go over to Jimmy. We'll do it in a sec, Bob, Dad. We'll get the sound on. Oh, yes. If we can get him to 9.5k subs, Ghost Picks Jimmy, then we will get the donation. So, right. should we go over to Jimmy's Let's channel? Let's go over to Jimmy. Guys, if you don't know who Jimmy is, he's one of the biggest donators on the YouTube channel ever. He's just a top lad, and like, if you want to go follow him, it's pretty simple. You search up Ghost Picks Jimmy, you press search, you, you click on his YouTube channel. If we can get him to 9.5, which is a stretch, it is a stretch. We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go, why not? Let's do it. Yeah. Anyway, back to football. Absolutely. Thank you, Jimmy. Do you want to come in a little bit? Um, Jimmy, I think you're going to be right with this one. Do you want to come in? I think you're going to be right, because... Yeah. yeah, Chelsea looking the better team. Chelsea being the better team, but it's still all up for grabs. He's probably going to be right, but don't write anything off. It's football at the end of the day. Yeah. And uh, I don't think Tottenham have made any changes, though. I think no. they're, they're honestly... They're, if he really wanted to win this game, he'd bring on Kane. He, Simple. Will, he will bring him on. At probably in the 60th minute. Yeah. Yeah. Right, beer top-up time. I'm going to get the beers in. The Absolutely. Labs. And by the way, some people say it's an energy drink. It's not. It's beer. <laughs> It's beer. Yeah, we don't drink none of that nonsense. Nah. Right. That's worse than a beer. Here comes Werner. Worse than a beer. Oh, Werner is fouled. Oh, my goodness. A couple of fouls in there. Kovacic was also fouled. Harry Kane is stretching. He's kicking those big legs. This is the man. England's top man. England's skipper. Can he break that Premier League goal-scoring record held by Alan Shearer? I think he can if he's not tempted away from the Premier League to sunnier climes. Chelsea getting the early possession. We're in the 46th minute. And here comes Jorginho. 
good feet, turns around, plays a simple ball. It is moved out to the left. And that is that a substitution that we've just seen there? No, it isn't. Right, more beers. E. Well done, Theo. Oh, Tottenham have turned over possession. Here comes Tottenham. As you can tell, because of the video at, we, we showed at half time, I now keep myself to two maximum if the game finishes <laughs> at 90 minutes. Yeah. I don't drink more than two beers because I don't want seeing, showing myself someone that isn't me. You know what I mean? Anyway, yeah, yeah. Right, let's get back to the lads. Absolutely. We've, it's been mental the last few weeks, guys, because of the growth. Thank you, Ghost Picks. Thanks for $15. Let's change that to 9K. Haha, ha, we got this TDL army. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah. Right, there we go. Right, if we can get Ghost Speaks Jimmy, everybody go over to subscribe to him. Yeah. $99 so, donation if we can get him to 9k subs. So. so if you are new to the stream, Ghost Picks Jimmy lives in the States. He's one of our biggest sponsors and friends. Yeah. And he predicts like sport. He's a tipster. Yeah. So he's very big on like NBA, basketball and American football, but he loves a bit of soccer or he's what a great we lad. call football. And, he's and a he great thinks guy. Chelsea are going to win today. He I does. agree. So let's get over to his YouTube channel. You know what? It's, it's, it's free and you might just pick up a few tips. Yeah. And normally with his clients, he charges a lot of money, but he'll give you tips to the Thog Dad Army. Exactly. And the TDL. So nothing to lose from going over there, having a look. Some of it's all basketball and American football, but some of it is good old soccer. Here come Tottenham. Fight and win. Playing the ball over to Aurier. Making a run there. Sissoko, will he play him in? Oh. Sissoko to get the ball here. The ball's oh. in and cleared out by Tamori as the cross isn't solid enough. Yeah, the cross was towards Lamella. How, someone's asking, how's Regulon's debut? It's been All right. good going forward. All he's right. put in some good crosses. Yeah. He's got burners. He's very fast. Yeah. And you can tell he's ready to play. But defensively, he slid in at one point yeah. to let Aspilicueta take basically a free cross. He yes. picked out Werner, Werner scored. Yes. So that's, that's the negative. I'm not going to make it sugarcoat it, make it look like it's all good. But it's hit and miss. Regulon looks like a big upgrade on Ben Davis. Yeah. So definitely more to come from that. Sissoko wins a handball there. Taken quickly and yeah. short. And the ball is moving backwards through Tanganga. Lumped up the field towards nobody. Zuma gets the ball Zuma. out. Throwing to Tottenham here. How's Werner doing? He's got a great goal. And that's all he really needs to do, really, doesn't he? Yeah. Keep scoring absolutely. goals like that, no one's complaining. Yeah, that's, you know, we wondered why yeah. he's playing. He's yeah. playing for that goal. Exactly. That's why he's playing. How's Hudson Odoi playing? Yeah, good. No, he's been Here we go. really good as well. Yeah. Oh, Bergwijn. Wow. Had a little bit of space to run with the ball there in the 49th minute. Um, and yeah. Yeah, the Dutch international. Good, good, strong work. Yeah. Gets on to, yeah, he's obviously got a bit of a right foot and he just sort of knocks it wide of the post. <laughs> There you go. How's Mendy's, Mendy's debut? Edouard Mendy's Decent. been absolutely brilliant. Decent. He's been banging. Yeah. He really impressed me. He made a save from Lamella and he's been confident in and yeah. around the six yard box. He gets out that. So what we saw from corners with Kepa is he wouldn't be able to have the strength to body someone and go catch the ball. Edouard Mendy is doing exactly the opposite. He's going out there, bodying people, catching the ball, punching the ball out. He's been brilliant so oh, far. Here we go. Me. But here comes Tottenham. Aurier down the right. Oh, who's out. there? Who's there? Goal! Regulon! Oh, Mendy! Good Great save. Great save from Edward Good Mendy. Save. Regulon nearly getting a goal on his debut, but he's stopped wow. by the shot stopper, Edward Mendy from Stade Rene. How good is he so Wow, far? wow. But how much space does Regulon have? Yeah. Good hands. I mean, Kepa, good, let's good be honest, hands. Kepa wouldn't have saved that. No. I've seen shots like that go in a lot. Oh, I tell you what. Great save from Edward Mendy. It's Mendy. a really good save. It is hard and it's rising. Yeah. And he gets both hands to it. Good work. Well done, Edward Mendy. What a debut you're having. And Regulon is like, oh my God, I should have buried that. Because yeah. the amount of space he was given, yeah. unacceptable. No, exactly. The ball's in. Headed out by Chelsea Again, player. Mendy comes to punch. Fernandez to get the ball back in. Might come off a player. Ref oh, says goal kick. And, oh. and Eric Dyer is going over the to the Tottenham ref. Tottenham players are furious. Yep. But Mendy, again, from that corner, he came out to seven yards. He's got no nerves. He's like, I can get to this ball. Yeah. Great start for this young lad. Yeah. Well, not Petr young. Cech's, not that well, he's young. Cech's watching the he's game. He's young compared look. to me. Yeah, yeah. He's the goalkeeping coach, isn't he? I think he is. Think he is or, yeah. or maybe under-21s coach or something yeah, like that. But yeah. No, maybe not goalkeeper coach. I think he's under he 21, is. academy coach. No, he was instrumental in getting Mendy 
to the club. He I works think. for the staff, but he's not the goalkeeper coach. Right, OK, yeah. OK. He's got a higher role than that. Yes, yes. But he was, you know, he was behind the move. Right, Regulon showing our pace again, but Tamori no, will get there first Tamori's again. Good work from Tamori. Yeah. Tamori is, is a rapid player, man. 500k by 2021. Potentially, who knows? Who knows? But there we go, guys. Let Pro me know in the comments. not quite. But you guys can help and, you know, help us on the way. Oh, yeah, that, that's, that's pretty, pretty tough to get. 450, I think. Yeah. 450. Yeah. Which is brilliant. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's like no, it's great. Huge compliment from every single one of you. Of course. Yeah. Technical advisor, thank you, yes. Thog Dad is correct. He's a technical advisor. Technical director. Thank you very much for, your, for pointing that out. When are you back in London? I don't know. I really don't know. But I'll be yeah. back in England probably in a week. I mean, the, the way we roll is we just book a one-way ticket, don't we, Thoggy? Yeah, exactly. We're sort of self-isolating on the side of a mountain here. We're not going to get this COVID. We're not going to give it to anyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're playing it safe. I might fly back Monday. Monday, yeah. Would you come with me? Um, I think it's a good idea that you do. Okay. I might stay longer because I've got to deal with the architects and stuff. For a week longer? Maybe a week, maybe a few okay. days. Yeah. Oh, you might get that Thursday flight. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's a good shout for you. Yeah, you can go see your mates. Yeah. Maybe there's a, a hashtag game or something. My first, my first plan when I get back to England is sort out my driving license and have a beer. Yeah. <laughs> but go down the railway in West Hampstead. Here come Tottenham. Wow. Bergwijn. Bergwijn. Ah, uh, poor pass. Aurier left foot. Yeah, oh, he's not no, left footed no, player. No, no. Simple as that. Who scored for Chelsea? It was Timo Werner. It was a great goal, by the way. If you are a Chelsea fan, it's good news with a Werner. A cracking strike from exactly 18 yards. Yeah. So yeah, like I was saying, that the first thing I want to do when I get back to England is, is pass my driving test, get yeah. the theory booked, start actually practicing for it. That's a very good idea. That's my though. objective. Get, yeah. And, and well, talking back to football, Mourinho is happy with that attack. Yeah. He, he went for it. That's the thing. It's, it's, it's all about that, isn't it? It's all about going for it. You might not score it, but if you've got the mentality of, I'm going to try score here, then you can't ask me much better. Yeah. Chilwell on the ball, being high pressure from the Tottenham players. Lamella. Gedson Fernandez, Lamella on the ball. Ooh. Lamella. Playing it into. Oh! He's Tottenham player's gone down, referee says no penalty. Referee says absolutely no penalty. Nothing's going that way with the referees right. and VAR at the but moment. Tottenham, Tottenham are coming back into it, aren't they? They Theo? are. We could see Tottenham I'm score. I'm not now. even sure what's changed here, but for some reason, they've come out with a bit between their teeth. Yeah. And they're creating things. The Mourinho half time team talk, by the yeah. way. Yeah, the hair dry treatment. Yeah. Here come Tottenham again. Switch play from Tottenham there. Not a good pass. Nodded down to Giroud. Werner. See, this is the problem. When you gamble a little bit more, attack a little bit more, there's gaps. Yeah. And can Chelsea oh, no. make the most of those gaps? They no, can't. No. Blocked out, defended well by Elderveld. Yeah. Throw in to come from Chelsea, near the box. But going back to that Bergwijn chance. Chilwell. No. He steps on the ball and he falls down. Yeah, the ref straight away says nothing. Like, no the chance, referee says mate. nothing straight away. In fact, he's got this angry face. He's like, no chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a tough lad, isn't he? That, who's that referee? I forget. To be fair, after all the talk and the amount of penalties being given, it's fair to see a referee Oops, not Lamella giving. Lamella falls down but keeps the ball. I think Tottenham haven't been blessed with, with VAR and, and referees recently, though. <laughs> Bloody hell. The whole Newcastle thing. Even, even Steve Bruce was saying it. Really? Must Imagine be true, it. Then. Well, no, that's the opposition referee manager saying yeah, yeah, that yeah. their decision that went their way was not good for yeah. football. Oh, we go. Bergwin. 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 Trying to turn Tamori. Oh, Tamori. Great tackle from Tamori. Good Last football. ditch slide good. tackle. I tell you what, Tamori and Zuma today, they love a slide tackle, but they've been yeah. very solid. Yeah. But Tottenham really getting back into the game. More could be, more could be happening that's here. That's good defending, that Theo. Good defending. You can so easily give away a penalty there. But Tamori puts those big long yeah. legs in and knocks away. Guy Aldridge, thanks for two pounds, mate. Who scored the goal? Timo Werner, it was. Absolutely. <laughs> oh. Right, Tottenham take the corner short. Ball's about to be played in from Tottenham. Weird tactic here. I'm Very sure they haven't worked tactic. about this on the training ground. Yeah. Bloody hell. Well, do you know, I'll tell you something about Josie Mourinho. Jose Mourinho doesn't like corners. Yeah. His view is a corner is nothing. It's really? Not something, yeah. It's, it's not something worth cheering about. Why? Because it's no better than just having the ball. Do you want to go and blow your nose? Yeah. No better than having the ball in any area. Okay. And keeping it in and just passing around. That's interesting, that. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, Chelsea on the ball again. 56th minute. 
Jorginho grabs the ball. He's going to build something up for Chelsea. Thoughts on Mendy? He's been really solid today, really impressed. Chelsea fans, they've got a player in, in, in uh, Edward Mendy. They really do. More to, more to come from that. Here come Chelsea up the right. Oh, poor, poor. Good interception there from Sissoko. Tottenham go long. Up to Lamella. Lamella gets the ball. Zuma, yeah, he's just stronger than him, isn't he? Oh. Good tackle, though. I thought it was a good tackle. Foul. That foul Lamella. given against him. Lamella's fuming, he thought. He's, yeah. But Zuma lifts him up and says, let's get on with it. The thing is, Lamella's always going to be beaten for strength by Tamori and Zuma. Yes, he really and Tamori will beat him for pace and Zuma will beat him for strength. So Absolutely. they're keeping him quiet. This tactic of playing the ball over to Lamella, it's not working for that reason. Anyway, chill well. Pings the ball up to Giroud. Ooh. This is a battle of the All slow right. boys. Giroud versus Olderfield. <laughs> Giroud, Giroud holds it up. Holds it we up. know he can do. Yeah, exactly. Oh, but the that. pass wasn't great. But lucky. Lucky Mason Mount was there to cover. No way is he going to shoot here. Aspilicueta oh, over. Oh, that's poor. From a lot of range. That is really poor. A lot of range on that, but yeah. Absolutely. And it remains Tottenham nil. Chelsea won, and this is around the time I think it's Harry Kane time. Yeah. What do you reckon, Theo? It's Harry Kane time indeed, Thog Dad. Yeah. What is that? Is that a. It's a fly. Yeah, that was a fly or a yeah, mosquito. Yeah. But you don't see many mosquitoes when the weather gets worse. Yeah, come Here come Tottenham. Tottenham. Bergwijn to Lamella. The two lads playing striker today. Lamella gets it back. Ooh, misses go, the ball. Go right, go right, that's it. Yeah, plays it over to Sissoko, who will give it to Aurier. Sissoko is now going to make a run. The ball isn't played. Triangles, but good marking from Chelsea. And Dombele on the ball, Every using his body well. Good turn as well. Nice. Very difficult to deal with. Giroud tracking back for that as well. Good to see for Chelsea. Aurier. Aurier, I don't know what he's thinking. I think Tottenham are running out of ideas here. Something has to change. Good change tackle there from Aurier though. That's not a foul. That's not a foul. It's a yellow card. I don't think it was. I think he got the ball. He's fuming the as well. referee disagrees with you. I thought he got the ball, but that's just my opinion at the end of the day. We'll see it again. One thirty in India, and I'm watching only for Chelsea. What about us? I'm kidding. I respect your... Oh, I tell you what. Oreo did get This the is ball. what I mean, Dad. Oh, no. Oh, actually, no. He got the player. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> it did, in real time, it looked like he got the ball. That's, from the yeah. angle we saw, it looked like he got the ball. But yeah, yeah, no, yeah. reality comes in. Good, good, good call from the referee. Goes into the book. The number 24. What do you think of the Spurs shirts there? It's not a bad kit. It's not bad, is it? It's pretty, not, pretty it's, simple. It's not the best, is it? It has been the best in previous years. We do kit rankings, don't we? Oh, look at this. Chelsea. Oh, I tell you what. Gedson's fuming. I think the Tottenham lads are fuming now because uh, the lads are just going down and like, you know. Yeah. Kovacic is going down. It was, it was rough from yeah. Gedson Fernandez. He yeah. doesn't need to do that. A little bit too much. But the thing is, why well, I see it, hashtag United, have they scored? Where are you watching it's on? Is hashtag in the chat or something? Maybe. I don't even know. Have hashtag United scored? What, someone tell me the hashtag scored. Where are you watching it on? We're watching it on our live TV. On That's it. Arena Sport. Yep, that is in correct. In Montenegro, which I think is a Serbian channel. Serbia's just up the road. Chelsea have possession. Yeah. Nearly 5k likes. Thanks for the support today, guys. Let's try and get Brilliant. 5k to finish it all Brilliant. off. Brilliant. So can Chelsea win this one and possibly go a long way in this EFL Cup, what yeah. used to be called the League Cup, Definitely. the Carabao Cup, the Milk Cup. It's had loads of different names. The Little Woods Cup, yeah. the Rumbelows Cup. Oh, my goodness. Mental. Anyway, it's very end-to-end -end Oh, here. here we go. Chelsea have a chance. Mason Mount. Mason. Oh, that's a yellow. That's just stupid. That's a yellow. That's stupid from Tanganga. Just holds him back. And, yeah, Tanganga gets booked for that it. That is the easiest yellow the referee will ever have to give. Drags yeah. Mount back. Don Robbie says, rate the beer. Okay. <laughs> pulls his, almost pulls Seven his shorts down. There you go. Yeah, I, I agree with that. You agree? I agree with that. Love's a good beer. It is. Better than Yellen. I don't know how you like Yellen. <laughs> it's just an easy drinking right, beer. Right, there here comes a substitution. Hoiberg. Where's Hoiberg from? Hoiberg. Uh, Denmark, Denmark, Denmark. Denmark. Yeah. Wolf Mauler again. Thanks for $2, mate. I give Aurier's yellow a 6.5. Ooh. Oh. What well, as a tactical foul? <laughs> right, free kick, dangerous. Chilwell to whip one in. Oh, oh my goodness! The referee's blown. What for was wrong with that? Was that offside or? 
I think that might have been a push because the referee, right. the lino never put his flag up. He didn't, up. did he? No. The ref just blew when the ball was being flying in. So I think yeah. someone just had pushed. Yeah, it must have been. Well, there must have been a push because it was a completely free man for Chelsea. They just missed the ball. It really was, Theo. Is this your fifth beer, Theo? No, today it's my second. Yeah. My second beer. And it's my third. Is it? Yeah, I had one in the... Oh, yeah, you had one you in the... You had a cheeky pizza before, and Yeah, I had a Theo, fresh orange juice. Because you know what? I, 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 yeah. I can't be asked to get pissed on, on, uh, on, on live streams anymore. <laughs> no, like. no, no, no. I made a mistake. I know. I wouldn't worry too much. Yeah. Not a mistake. Like, it's bants, but... Yeah. It's not funny for me because... Yeah. Because how I see it is like, you know that's not you. Yeah, I understand. It's the wrong impression. Well, that is the thing. Who's gone down? Is it Mason? Mason Mount might be injured here. The referee's No, he's holding his head. He's just got, he's got a little push in the face or something. And the game, it's a bit stop-start. Yeah. Jose's not happy. Not happy at all. He's rarely happy then. And what happened? Mason turns. Oh, it's just, come on, it's nothing. Mount's going down over nothing, really. He gets, he gets that in the face. And I'm sure. Do you want to go and blow you? Potentially. And Gensen's, Gensen's off the pitch. Off. And who's on? Kane? 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 No, Hoiberg. Top, he's really accepting defeat here, isn't he? Well... There's no urgency, is there? I mean, you know, Tottenham have started off slightly better than they did in the first half. Callum Tom donates two pounds and says, get pissed again, lad. <laughs> Listen, if I get pissed, it's just a shit show for me, mate. It really is. On, on live stream, like, I, why, why should I get pissed on camera? No, it's yeah. funny. Yeah. But I'm trying to be professional with live streams. Like, if we did a, a, a live stream dev dev devoted to getting pissed one time, <laughs> that'd be brilliant. That'd be funny. But, yeah, not every stream, guys. It's not good for my, uh, my liver. Oh, oh, my goodness. That is a poor touch, isn't but it? A couple of beers, there's no problem there. Absolutely. Sizoko had a shooting chance, but his first touch was poor. Yeah. It was. And this game is dying a death. It is. It it's needs been a dead one. something to happen. Yeah. And it's got to come from Spurs. Looks like Chelsea bringing on Emerson, the Italian left back. So I forgot that he was still at Chelsea, to be honest with you. Yeah, he's still there. Barely, barely plays anymore. So good to get a runabout. Good for little 30 minutes for him. Yeah, Emerson, 26 years old, Italian international, came from Roma two years ago only. Yeah. He's not had much game time. I think he's played like 30 Premier League games in two and a bit years. That's not much, yeah, is it? Yeah, it's true. But I can understand it with Chilwell. You don't want to give him 90 minutes. You don't want to injure no. him. No, no. He's only coming back from injury, so you've got to be careful. Absolutely. You've got to use your substitutions. Yeah. Thoughts on City signing Ruben Diaz? I think it's a very good signing. Right. He's a young centre-back for Benfica. Loads of potential. I watched him in the Champions League at the stadium last year before they closed it off for fans. And he's a solid centre-back. He's talked about a lot. I think we'll see. Uh, I think we'll see him walk into the Premier, the Man City team. I think he'll be a very good centre back with years to come. Right. He's young as well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, oh, there's a little. Point. This is so stop start. I'm it really is. This. After that classic we saw Man City against Leicester. This is. I rubbish. think we've been spoiled recently. Yeah. I think that's the thing about football. As you know, as we know in football, I think every game the average is two point seven goals. Yeah. So when you see seven goals in one game, you know that eventually you're going to see a nil nil or a or a, you know a, a one nil stinker. Exactly. And this is the one. This is not a good game of football. But it's not finished yet. No. There it's are not. 25 minutes of. Regular time left. If Tottenham um, score in this attack, it could get interesting because Chelsea will pile forward. Yeah. But they're going in the wrong yeah, direction. Yeah, they're going back. Oh. Jose, I don't know what he told them, but they've gone into the second half with the impression of it's fine to lose 1 0. I know. I and, know. and maybe he was right in what he said in, the, in, the, in his pre match interview when yeah. he said that he, he will accept going out the Carabao Cup. Right. Yeah. But accept is one thing. You don't go out to lose, you go out to win. Yeah. And True. this, you know, I'm sorry, it's not, not really. If you're a Tottenham fan, how are you feeling right now? Let us know, yeah. Yeah. That'd be interesting. So Emerson, Emerson is on for Chilwell, who made his starting debut today for Chelsea. He had a decent game. I don't remember him doing too much. No. I can remember, but. Yeah. 
We haven't said his name very much. No. But that's more because the, a lot of the players happened on the on the other side of the pitch. Yeah. A lot of players are slipping today and falling down. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's been rain or they water the pitch yeah, a lot. They do, yeah. they do do that in a lot of the ground. I think maybe Jose might have gone into the idea of playing long ball in this yes. game and he wanted to, the pitch to be watered down. Right, here we go, but Tottenham. The problem with that is... Into it's, the box. Oh, it's too, too fancy. Greg Black, thank you for the two pounds, mate. Newcomer loving the chat in sync with the game. Thank Cheers, you, man. Greg. It's always good to hear that. Great to hear it from new fans as well. Hope you subscribe and uh, look for more live streams on our channel because that's what we love. Right. So please, hopefully see you around. But thanks for, thanks for the donation, man. Cheers. There it is. Brilliant. Okay, it's a little bit more Tottenham pressure than we've seen recently. The ball is being pushed out to the left. They're switching play a bit. Eric Dyer. Oh, he's running through two or three players. Chance. Oh. There we go. Good defending. Good, good defending. Those lads at centre back are doing a good job here. They are. Tamori and Zuma. Absolutely. They're. they're you got to remember, they're not playing a, a world-class striker. They're playing yeah. guys that usually play on the wing, and they're not playing any target men. They're not playing yeah. any people really difficult to deal with. They're playing Lamella and Bergwijn, for God's yes, sake. So they, they might be looking better than, you know, what they have, but and still. And Dombele here. Reguilon trying to find them, Dombele. Reguilon accepts the throw-in off Kovacic. Tottenham on the chance here. If they get a goal from somewhere, straight now, to Pence. Has Regulon got a long throw? It's not a bad throw. Yeah, it's in the box. Sissoko. Let's have a shot top. Aurier oh, kicks goodness. it and he's but gone for a corner. He wins a corner. It was a snapshot by Aurier from, the mid, from outside the box in the middle. And he was lucky to get a corner. Joe in the chat, I'm a Spurs fan and I'm really annoyed because we haven't won anything in a while. And Jose is rubbish today. <laughs> I've got to agree with you. I've got to agree with you when you say today. Now, I don't think Jose's a bad manager, but I think today he's got his tactics wrong. I would have brought in Harry Kane at half time. Oh, oh no. Oh, Mendy dropped it. Mendy Fumbled dropped it. it. He'll be praying that they don't get a goal from this attack. Regular. Mendy's done everything well today. That's the first thing he's done bad. And keepers make mistakes. That's for Mendy's sure. Mendy's going to catch that. He will. Yes. Yeah. Well done, he looks Every time the ball goes up to him, he's a little bit shaky because he knows <laughs> it's like Chelsea and all, yeah. the, all the light. All the, all, he's on the flashlight. He's on the. He's in the limelight. You know? Yeah. yeah. And Kepper, I, Kepper's fuming. Yeah, Kep, well, you know, I think he takes it quite well. He, he's been dropped in the past, and you know what? He accepts it. Yeah. I think deep down he knows that he's not. You know, he's not lived up to his seventy odd million price tag. Eighty two. It, yeah, it's got to be hard. It's got to be hard. Yeah, no, the, the amount of shit he's had to deal with from Premier League fans as well. Ash Island Hill, thanks for four pounds, mate. What do you think of Lewis Dunk? Solid. I think he's a good player. Solid. I we, think we talked about him today, didn't we, in the video? Yeah, no, Lewis Dunk's a good player. Emerson. And, yeah, 100%. Definitely yeah, yeah. more to come from him, really. Hopefully he gets an England start. I think he deserves it. I mean, look at our centre-backs. Like, we need to start rotating more options, like Tarkowski and Lewis Dunk. We should try things like that. I don't know why we don't, but, yeah, it's just... Why is Son not playing? Um, injury. Injury. Yeah. Stephen Richardson. Here we go. Here's the big one coming on. Harry Kane. Finally. What did I say? He waits till the 70th minute. Tanganga comes off. And he's had a great game back from injury, yeah. Tanganga. Definitely more to come from him. Stephen Richardson, thank you for the five pounds, mate. How Tamori playing linked with him, Everton. Yeah, you're spot on with that, mate. Um, Everton are yeah. trying to buy Tamori. Wow, wow, good show. Oh, sorry, not buy, loan him. Right, Because okay. Chelsea won't sell him, I don't think. Maybe, maybe they will, I don't know. Kante's coming on as well for Chelsea, but that's the, man, that's the team I was thinking of. So thanks for that donation, mate. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting, coming off. be interesting to see if Tamori gets more game time now for Chelsea. Because if he doesn't, maybe, you know what, like, he'd, he'd, he'd stop that Everton back line. You know, he needs to get involved. He needs to get involved. No. Tamori needs game time. He's a top, top centre back, one of England's best, so, yeah. with, with a potential, so definitely. Now, Harry Kane has just said 2 4. So I wonder if they've gone to 4 2 4. I wonder if something strange has happened. Whether they've moved around the formation. Let's have a look at this. They might be going for it. They might yeah. be going for it. I think they might be going for 4 2 4 with Sissoko that and Andon Bellet. That seems to be field. what Harry Kane said. Well, think about it, Dad. They've got two yeah. wings on the pitch. We know that. Yes. They've got Aurier, who's now going to be playing right wing by the looks of it. Yeah, 4 2 4, isn't it? Yeah, it is 4 2 4. Wow. Tottenham going all out here, guys. Stay tuned for the last bit of this game. Nice one from Sissoko. Here we go. Lamella. 
Aurier with a great ball in. in. Back post, Greg Will on. Oh, corner. He headed it, but I don't think it's a corner. Not I think corner. it's a goal kick. I think he just mistimed the header. Whoa. Tell you what, when it's bouncing, it's difficult those diving one. headers. But a good but move. He expected much better himself. He's fuming about it. Oh yeah, yeah. Just got the header wrong. Maybe he should have volleyed it. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he got that really wrong, didn't he? He did. But when the ball's coming in that quick, it's difficult. It, it really is. is. Oh, it's a difficult chance that. Yeah. So Tottenham getting back into the game more. Jose Mourinho knows that, and they're going with a, an all-out formation. Fern aces. Thanks for five pounds. Leicester offer for Fana accepted. Thoughts? Interesting. Right. For Fana. I I don't know anything about that. So we'll have to research that one. We'll have to do some research and we'll get back to you, mate. Yeah, but thanks. We'll, we'll have to donation. do our homework. And Golo Kante pushing it forward. Chelsea trying to kill off this game. Here they Here come. come. Timo Werner. Oh, and he wins a corner. Fofana is a 19-year-old French footballer who plays for St. Etienne. Interesting. And he's a defender. Interesting. Where does he play in the defence? Rodgers wanted five and Fofana's number three and there is still just a week to go. Um, is uh, Fofana... What about Fofana? That's really interesting, guys. Thanks for mentioning that. What position? Let's look at his FIFA card so I can see what position he is. But yeah, looks like Leicester are getting themselves a... Where does he play? A centre-back. Interesting. Right, right. For Fana, a centre back. Oh, I guess on, they that's need not a foul. Here come Chelsea. Big chance. Big chance. Werner. Werner. Good save, Larice. Well done, Larice. Yeah. Werner, Werner wanted a second there. Fancy. It was that. a good shot from the from the area from yes, the situation. It was. It and again, they're lumping it up to Lamella, and, and I, I don't get this. Yeah, I don't get this game plan. No, At no. least aim for Harry Kane. You know. Yes. Yes. Good but, pressure there. That was N'Golo, wasn't it? That's what you get from N'Golo. Yeah. If you bring him on late as well, he'll have twice the energy of most of the players. Good football. Though. Good save from yeah. Reese as well, holding on to it. Good football all round. If you didn't support Bolton, which team would you support? Um, none in the Prem, but I'd probably support Zenit, Zenit St. Petersburg, because my mum, your missus, is from there. Yep. And we've been there. It's proper. We've, we've lived there. Yeah, we've lived there. Yeah, I mean, you were a little babby in your pram. Baby. Anyway, <laughs> oh, baby back, baby back, baby back. Ribs. Ribs. Werner, oh! Man touch there, but he keeps it in with his nice. pace. Nice, well done, Werner. And it's a corner to Chelsea. To Giroud. Giroud. How many, I want to know, who's got more fans in the comments, Tottenham or Chelsea? Get commenting, if you support Tottenham, put Tottenham. If you support Chelsea, put Chelsea. Let's see who's got more fans in the chat. Let's see who's the bigger fan base on here, eh? Love the vids, thank you, Corey. Diaz officially signed for Man City. Very good signing for them. Yeah. Surprised Wolves weren't in for him though because he's Portuguese, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell. Right, and it will be Mason Mount to whip in this corner from the left-hand side. All the big guys are in the centre. Dyer is wrestling with Giroud. Oh, it's in the hands of Loris who will throw it out. Oh my goodness, straight to N'Golo Kante. Yeah. Poor throw from Lurries. Ghost Pigs Jimmy, let's get him to 9k. Come on. Lads, if we get 100 more of you going over to subscribe to Ghost Pigs Jimmy, they're going to slap $100 donation into the stream. So everybody get over to Jimmy's page. Just get him to 9k subs. We need 100 of you to go over there of the 5.3k watching. So that's just like, what percentage is that? Oh, that is not a big percentage increase. How much, how much so is that? From eight point, no, no, like, there's 5.3k watching this. Yeah. And they, they, he only needs 130. Oh, what so percentage of people need like to go 3%. over? 3%. 3% of you need to go over and sub to him. Search Ghost Picks Jimmy. Uh, he's yeah. a great lad. Let's get him to 9k subs because you know what? He's a top lad. Look at him. That is just... That look is at that geezer. That's look him. That's him. Yeah. That's him right there. He loves, he loves sports. Thanks for the two pounds, oh. Joe. He loves his sports, does Jimmy. There's a, there's a few more Chelsea fans than Tottenham in the chat, yeah, I would say. Yeah, yeah. But there's loads of Chelsea fans, I've got to say. Absolutely loads of Chelsea fans. Uh, Aston Villa fan in there and a Liverpool fan. A few Liverpools and Arsenals as well. <laughs> yeah, expected. The top six clubs are all pretty big. And Lucas Moura is coming on. <sighs> yeah, mostly Chelsea fans and, and, in the chat. And Abraham is coming on for Giroud for Chelsea. Yeah. So we've got 15 minutes of regular time left. Can Tottenham come back? I think no. Okay. I predicted 2-1 Chelsea. 
I think, look, it's looking like a 1 0 Chelsea, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. And you know how I see it, Dad. Thank you, Darren, for the 79p, mate. I, I, I can't see Tottenham getting into this, really. No. Unless no. Harry Kane causes a madness in the last minute. Have we already hit 9k? Oh, here we go. Here's Chelsea. Surely 2 0. Oh, bad miss. Boys. Callum Hudson adore. Lads, it took 10 Jose seconds. Jose is steaming off. Jose steamed off. He's look at steamed this. off. He's left. Has he been sent off? Oh my God. Let's get back to the stream. Jose, Jose Mourinho has left the ground. He's, he's, he's leaving. Oh my God. He's leaving. He's gone into the dressing room. He's appalled by he's his team. He's packed it in. Oh my God. He's fuming. He's 14 probably minutes screaming gone. at the He went like that. 14 minutes in. After a Chelsea chance and he just steamed off. And now the Tottenham players must be looking around thinking our manager's just walked. He's abandoned his team. He's not been sent off, has he? That is crazy. What happened? I, I, I don't know if he's doing it for attention. I don't, you know, knowing Jose it could be. I think he's just or is he ball. just absolutely fuming with his team? Unless he's gone for a, a comfort break. Oh. I tell you what, that is poor from Jose. Frank Lampard's oh, smiling to himself. Frank. He's smiling to himself because he knows. You know, he gave it all that lip in the first half and now they're giving up. Yeah. Here comes Tammy, maybe Chelsea. If Chelsea score a second, I think this is tactical from Jose. Oh, Eric oh. Dyer. What's what going on here? Guys, I have no idea what's going on here. Has, Eric Dyer ran in. Has he gone off to the bathroom and, and Josie went to find him? Jose, Eric Dyer's few, <laughs> I, I have no what idea. What happened there? This is, this is unbelievable. Hudson Doyle had a great what? chance. Does anyone know what's going on? So, so Eric Dyer, no, Jose, he's back. Jose's, oh, Jose's back. back. I think he went to have a go at Eric Dyer. Oh, he went to get his water. He went to get his water. He steamed No, but off. Eric Dyer went for a quick piss during the game. Or maybe he's got the squirts or something. And then Jose Mourinho went into the dressing room. I don't know if he went to grab his water. He's like, but he was, he's he like went where right. the hell is my central defender? Does anyone actually know what's going on here? Anyway, we got Ghost Picks Jimmy to 9K subs, which is amazing. So he's now going to donate $100 to the channel, which is we awesome. We got him to 9K? Oh, we got him like, we? within seconds, Dad. Look at this. He's, no. I think he's on, I think he's on 9.04 oh now. Oh my God. You lot smashed it. Thanks Jimmy, to everybody Jimmy. that went over to subscribe. Brilliant. He's like one of the biggest donators on the channel. So it's great to give back to people uh, yeah. that, that donate to the channel. Absolutely. It's just like TDL members, like TDL generals, really. Yeah, yeah. He runs the TDL he's in a top the man. United States. He's even America. started his own, his own streams for the, um, the ice hockey. Has so he? If yeah. anyone likes ice hockey, brilliant, brilliant. NBA, NFL, he covers it all. Brilliant. Anyway, there we go. Thank you, Ghost Picks Jimmy, hey, for the $100 hey, donation. Bro. Legends, lads, legends. All love to the Thogden Army. Flood, hashtag legends. Everyone yeah. put legends in the comments. That's hey, what he's saying. Brilliant. Smashed it. Tell me, here we go. Surely this is a goal. Oh two God. against one. Two against two one. Two against one. Oh! Good interception there from Eric Ace Dyer. Eric Dyer puts himself in the right place. And uh, Chelsea, even though they're on the attack, Tammy Thank Abraham's taking his he's finished his piss. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> no, he was important to the team. Yeah, I know, I know. It was when Hudson Doy had that chance that Jose ran in to get him from the toilet. I know, I know, I know. Because, <laughs> yeah, I can't what believe the hell it. Went why on, would man? you, during a game, why would well, you run off for a piss? Well, it might be... Look, Desperate. It, well, it, it might be something, yeah. It's got the squirts or something. Yeah. Oh. Oh, he needed a shit. Yeah, yeah. maybe he had a curry. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's why you said or, that, Or yeah. a dodgy burger or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. true. He's got the squirts, maybe. But, yeah, no, Chelsea really, really should have done poor. better. Mason Mount, you've got to do better than Mount that. playing in Werner. Yeah, it's unfortunate. But thanks to everybody saying legends in the chat. Really appreciate it. But it's great to get Ghost Picks, Jimmy, you know, get, get the channel out there and stuff. And it's showing the chance from earlier, hudson Adoy, And he hammered it over the bar, sadly. He did, yeah. But Tottenham are still in this. They Chelsea are. haven't got their second... It's only one goal in it, guys. You've got to remember that. If Tottenham f cause a madness and just Harry Kane uses his strength, he's on the pitch now, they've gone all out. They just need to find one goal to take this to penalties. One goal. Lucas Moore is on the pitch as well. They're going all out on this. Jose Mourinho is saying in a pre-match conference saying that he doesn't care about it. He's got all the big lads on, so clearly he does. It's all talk. <laughs> Lamella. Here comes Lamella. Here comes Harry Kane. We know what Harry Kane can do, but he doesn't really have that. Oh, it's yes, he Kane. Kane. Oh. That turn, he sent Tomori for a hot dog. For he an absolute really hot did. dog. People would say that Tomori is much faster than Kane and all. But what I saw there was they were about the same pace, and then Kane absolutely Brilliant. turns him. Oh. And then on his weak foot, it goes over. But Harry Kane, once again, proving why he's absolutely world class. Harry Kane does everything right. He's so good. Apart he from makes a bad shot. chance a good chance. Simple as that. Yeah. Just subscribe. Thank you, Connor Hart. Well, I think he turned a good chance into a great chance. Yeah. Know. 3, 8, 6K subs to come. <laughs> Love that, guys. Anybody that hasn't subscribed, 
We have a £40 giveaway going on, so like and subscribe to enter that giveaway. Completely free to do so. Oh, Send me proof on Instagram. It is Tottenham now looking, knocking at the door. Looking to try and snatch a cheeky 81st minute equaliser. Yeah. This is much better from Tottenham Hotspur. Much more open game the last five or ten minutes. Oh, here we Aurier. go. Aurier, chance for Tottenham on the right. Whips one in, blocked and by Emerson. Aurier will take Aurier it down again. again. And he's going to dish it to Hoiberg by the looks of it. He doesn't want to, because yeah. he doesn't want to go backwards. No, he doesn't. 80 second minutes, 1 0. And Hoiberg goes backwards. This is not what Tottenham want. They need no. to get the ball up the pitch. I know they have to wait for the moment, but they yeah. have to force the Come moment down. A bit of urgency. Come on. Come on. You've only got eight minutes of regular time left. Probably two minutes of injury time. Yeah. Three minutes. Yeah. 11 minutes, perhaps, to rescue your game. EFL. Oh, that's Bad terrible. From, Bad pass from uh, er Alderville. Alderville. Yeah, yeah. And he's complaining, but you know what? Play it to his feet. Yeah. And honestly, why are you playing around the back anyway? Yeah. Mourinho knows. Thank I think Mourinho you, knows what's coming Joe, in. for that donation. Yeah, cheers. And Golo Kante. People are putting Fs in the chat for Jose. Yeah. It's not over yet, guys. Aurier. Oh! And again, they kick it out. Yeah. Lem oh, who's got the yellow there? Was that? I don't actually know. Jorginho? Jorginho, yeah. He's like, come on, I didn't deserve a yellow. Right, Tottenham nil, Chelsea one in the fourth round of the EFL Cup. And Fogden's got his hood up. This is the lucky hood. I'll be wearing a hood. When I put the hood on, the hood, sound like an Orland guy now. Hood. The hood. When I put this hood on, there's goals. Here come Tottenham, Reguilon. Into the area, Reguilon. Oh. Into Lamella. Look Goal! Oh my God! <laughs> Oh my god, Lamella scored and made it 1 1. That wasn't scripted or anything. I, for Lucky Hood, Tottenham fans will obey oh this hood. God. Oh my god, I, I, that, is, wow. that is, as you can tell, that goal has gone in. Lamella got the goal, and it looks like there's going to be penalties. <laughs> this hood wins Tottenham goals. Oh my god. Wow, amazing. This is, uh, that was unbelievable that was timing. Just silly. That was stupid timing. Oh my god. And it was, Someone get on TikTok, someone clip that. It was a mistake by Emerson, the number 33, the substitute. Look at that. Let's Edward Mendy couldn't do anything about that. No, Lamella gets no. the big goal. Jose Mourinho loves Jose's it. Jose's like, I've This done it. hood is good luck for Tottenham fans. <laughs> I'm not taking it off. That is unbelievable. What have I just seen? I salute your hood. Keep the hood on. My God, Thogden, no way. <laughs> I, 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 I can't believe it, man. Like, right. that was unbelievable. There was... I, I'm speechless. Some, somebody clip that send it to me, please. Someone get it on TikTok. It'll be viral by tonight. <laughs> Someone get it on TikTok ASAP. Yeah. That was... That, the timing there, like, it's one of the famous clips. It's one of the famous <laughs> stream clips. There's Suck Your Mom. There's when um, I called there to be a goal. And then there's this. Yeah. And then there's this. The lucky HUD. Yeah. But Chelsea now coming forward through Callum, Hudson, Adoy, Mason Mount. It's your fault. Sorry, Chelsea fans. Jorginho. Chelsea fans are fuming. <laughs> Tottenham fans are like, keep it on. Chelsea fans are like, take it off. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's, it's, this, this hood is for more goals in the game. I'll be wearing a hood. Not for Tottenham. Emerson. So Chelsea fans, you should want this on now. And then Wolfie's like, keep that bloody hood on, Foggy. Thanks, Wolfie. The donation, but yeah. He's got, oh, he's got a bet on Chelsea, hasn't he? This is an unbelievable stream, man. Like, that, you can't write that sort of no, thing. No, you can't. You can't write these sort of things, man. Yeah. It looks like it's going to be pens, boys. Yeah. So do I keep the hood on for the pens? Yes or no in the chat? <laughs> Someone pay him. <laughs> yeah. Wow. This is unbelievable. <laughs> the timing, oh my God. Ollie Evans, thanks for one Thank pound, mate. Thank you, Ollie. Nice one, mate. <laughs> Spurs fans are loving it. Right, now Emerson you know, didn't fill himself with glory there. JS03 says Kane in the 88. Wow, wouldn't that be a story? Yeah. And Golo Kante has it, drifts forward a bit into the opposition half. Put it off Plays now. Plays it back to Tamori. Keep it on. Come on, you Spurs. <laughs> okay, it's mostly yeses. Why the hood? 
Okay, look, Chelsea on the attack now. Hudson this, Adoy. This oh, this hood stands for Hud Paul. Hudson Adoy. Oh yeah. Hud. Clever. Hudson Adoy. Yeah, yeah. So if Hudson Adoy scores, Hud. Hudson Adoy. But the manager should be Glenn Huddle. Oh, okay, Dad, just get out now. That was that's not even good. That like, he's not on the pitch. It's funny. Right. Kane. Kane. Uh, <laughs> Stephen Richardson, Dax are two pounds. Everton win tomorrow, two 0 against West Ham. Lamella into the box. Oh, we're not scoring from there, mate. 87th minute. Can we see some Fergie time, some late action in the game? Potentially. Tottenham on the attack here. Blue is the colour. Chelsea fans are in here. It's pretty split down the middle now between Tottenham and Chelsea in the comments. Super Cup Visions might be back. Yeah. Harry. Oh. Harry Kane. Oh, beautiful by Kane. And Chelsea get it clear. Jorginho gets it clear. Tottenham will go again. Tottenham controlling the game a little bit more. Naji, don't take it off. <laughs> Kane is on. 2-1 Lamella. We know, mate. Oh, oh right. 2-1 Lamella. Well, we don't know that. Wow. We're watching it live, so you're probably just predicting it. But here comes Lamella. Doing well. <laughs> Tottenham still have the ball. And that is a free kick to Tottenham which will be whipped in from the right-hand side. So a late, late chance. We're into the 88th minute in this pulsating EFL Cup tie. Well, not really, but you know what I mean. And My sister's been putting a lockdown in her university because... And they're not even allowed to go outside to get food from the shops. Wow. They get catering service once a day or something. Amazing. Went into isolation today and they haven't brought us any food. What? Someone make, someone tell the newspapers. No. Someone tell the newspapers, Edinburgh University not feeding their kids. No. Or their uni students. That is poor. What a terrible time to be at uni. They, they put my sister in, in a lockdown because someone in our hall got corona. And that, that person's not even there anymore, obviously. Lamella. So she has two weeks of being in a lockdown. She can't leave the, she can't leave the hall. That's shocking. It's unbelievable. Oh my goodness. The way Edinburgh are handling... Honestly, to be honest with you, Dad, yeah. part of the lockdown and, and, and isolating for two weeks, I'd honestly say, allow them to go to the shops to buy their food and drink. Allow them. Socially distanced, but allow them to go, okay? And, and self-check out, etc., so they don't go near anyone. Do not make them have food like well, they didn't get food today they didn't get food today pathetic. it's badly run like if they're going to yeah. make them have food then sort it out yeah I'll tell you what I'm pleased I'm not going to university this year I'll tell you that yeah anybody at university right now a lot of my friends went to uni this year and uh, they all they all messaged me saying like oh I've got friends at uni that are massive fans of your channels and stuff like it's great Rebecca Flores thanks for the two dollars mark my words Liverpool will win the Carabao Cup well they could they definitely could We've got yeah. 5k likes on the stream as well, guys, so thank you for that. Let's see how many subscribers we're on out of interest. I don't know how many we're on. Um, we're just seeing the repeat of the replay of the Tottenham goal, and it was Hoiberg Yeah. did the work, got the assist, and he's all over the place. He's, guys, you know, on every Premier League club's FIFA 21 rating EA got wrong, our new video, we're on 66.5k views, which is decent. But let's keep running the video up, guys. Everybody after this stream, when it ends after the penalty shootout, go over to my video that I post on my channel today. I go through every Premier League club and state one FIFA 21 rating they get wrong. So, for example, I talk about Aubameyang for Arsenal. I talk about Grealish for Villa. Like, it's a good yeah, video, isn't it? I, I like it, yeah. Kante, good work from Kante. Chelsea, here we go. Ha Callum Hudson-Odoi, how's his delivery? He's up the left. Callum Hudson-Odoi, remember. <laughs> Kante, he's never going to play it forward. Jorginho has Piliqueta to Money Mount, Money Mace. Right, come on, Mount. Take him on, take him on. Kante. Kante, surely he's not going to shoot. He's got the energy. Oh! Werner. Werner. Oh. And Tottenham get away with it. Werner got a shot in, but it was blocked. Blocked. And now they're lumping the ball up to Harry Kane. Not good enough. And Harry Kane's a little bit, a little bit holding back from those 50-50s because he doesn't want to get an injury. No, quite right. But and there are three minutes of extra time. Hudson Adoy. Oh. And go Hudson Adoy's looked good today, man. Yeah, yeah. Very direct, yeah. going for it. Yeah, he's faded a bit second half, but there again, Tottenham have come back into the game. Jorginho. 
plays it wide. Mason tries to get it towards Tammy, but Hoiberg gets Ollie Evans, it thanks out. for £2. Chelsea 2 1, 93rd minute. Giroud, he says. Wow. wow. If that happens, then I'm going to buy your Weetabix. Because we all need Weetabix in our life. Don't can, we? can you eat three Weetabix? Yeah, why not? Can you eat three shredded wheat? Yeah, why not? You can't. Yeah, I can. No, you can't. Yeah, I can. Nobody can. I can. No, you're not. I can eat three yeah. Weetabix. You haven't got enough gains. With milk? Yeah, I can. No, you can't. Yeah, three can. Weetabix, but what about shredded wheat? Second question. I can eat three shredded wheat. Yeah, you both of them can, but you can't. Yeah, I can. Right, Callum Hudson Adoy. Oh, plays Can you bank. guys tell us in the comments? <laughs> Who else can? Or what's your favourite breakfast cereal? Mine is definitely chocolate clusters. Unbelievable. Yeah. You don't eat them here, though, do you? You don't like the milk? The milk is crap here, and the cereals aren't as good. <laughs> All breakfasts are worse here. They don't have avocados in Montenegro, and they're, like, absolutely a massive part of my breakfast every morning. The bread isn't as good here, to be honest with you. How, how Hampstead is that, avocados for breakfast? Listen, you guys know, avocado on toast is bloody beautiful, with eggs. Bit of bacon, that is the perfect breakfast. I don't care. You didn't get avocados where I was growing up in Lancaster. Yes, you did. You so didn't. shut up. You didn't. Yes, you did. I didn't see an avocado. Stop chatting. Didn't see shit. an avocado until I was in my teens. This tees. guy is such a waffler. No, it's true. Oh, in my day, we didn't have avocados. It's a fruit, you mug. No, we didn't have them. You know, it was, it was almost just after the war. You, when I was you'd have up. them more. It's a farm. Like they, they grow them. It's a farm. They grow them around Lancaster. Yes. You want to tell me the Lancaster avocado farm? I've never seen it, and I don't think I ever will. Probably because you didn't have it when you were growing up. Doesn't mean they never made they don't it. Grow avocados in Lancaster or Morecambe or Hesham or Kirby. You're just, you're just waffling. Thought, or Hornby or Caton. You're just wrong. And you no, I'm right. It. Avocados are found everywhere in the shops. I didn't know what an avocado was till I was 20. Yes. Werner. Because you never bought them. You didn't have them growing up. Super Sané, bro, thanks for two pounds. Probably should change that name. Because Sané has gone to buy it. But he says if he can call goals, he eats shredded wheat. Honestly, I think this, I think this hood is keeping Tottenham in the game. Chelsea yeah. are attacking and not scoring. And now it's straight to penalties. And I think if I keep this hood on, Tottenham will win the penalty shootout. Interesting. So I'm going to keep it on to see oh, if I'm goodness. see if my if my um, hypothesis is correct. I'm not saying that was a bad game, but that was a genuine yawn. Yeah. I've been out gardening today. You see. Lamella's kept them in the game, and I, I don't know if there's extra time. But if it's straight to pens, I think this hood is going to win it for Tottenham. That's all I'm saying. We've seen a penalty shootout happen between Chelsea and Tottenham last time they played, and Kepa made the save to keep them in the game, I which is interesting. If Mendy can become the hero today. Well, what a way on his debut, eh? Yeah. Looks like Absolutely. it's Pens, boys. Either Mendy's the hero or this hood is winning it for Tottenham. That's all I'm saying. Jose is going on, he's smiling, he's giving a few hugs out. Honestly, I genuinely would put money on Chelsea winning this penalty shootout, but I think this hood is a superstition that's going to make Tottenham win it. Yeah. Because I, I put this on, Lamella scored and Chelsea couldn't score. Everyone's saying keep it on, take it off. It's split down the middle. I'm keeping it on, guys, to see whether this hood really makes a difference. I might be chatting pure raucous, but if Tottenham win, you know why. Penalties to come. So Jorginho is going to take one. Will he miss it again? Let us see. So the guys are working out five players, initially five players, who will take the penalties. Thogden is talking to his mates. Thank you to the 7,000 people who are in the stream to see Thogden talking to his mates. Listen, I've got the hood on. I've got to stay in style. Is that style? That's actually it's a nice gosher top, isn't it? Gosha Rubchinsky, if you know, you know. Any Russians, the first person that could translate that and put it in the chat and say translation uh, and then the, do you know it? Uh, Don't say it. Adidas. No, 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 below it. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, Theo, I speak Russian. <laughs> oh, do you, gen you can genuinely read Russian as well? Uh, of course, Theo. Okay. It's dead easy. Don't say it. But the first person to get it in the chat, a real, a real Russian speaker. I don't know if anybody will get it. Yeah, of course they will. I can see someone getting it within a few seconds. What does first it person to say translation is this. Yeah. I don't know if any Russian speakers can read it, but if they can, fair play. No, if we donate 40, will you take it off? 
Fine. Fine. That's <laughs> that's off. pretty good. Yeah, that's yeah. the good negotiations. If you donate forty quid, then I will take Hashtag it. Hashtag take but it. But you're gonna have to football. do it quickly. Someone's got it. Football. Oh, someone's got it. Someone's got it. Is it... Nikola Mil- Mil- Milanovic uh, first, yeah, yeah. and then Andre Ivanov. You can start to <laughs> recognise the names. N- Nikola on and then on Andre Ivanov, Shilovic. Tedesco, and then Luka Bokic. Luka. Joe Rango. Oh, more people than I expected are getting this. A lot of these names are Serbian names, Croatian names. Milanovic, Nikola. Yeah, you can see Serbians and Russians can understand yeah, what it means. That's right. But yeah, well done. Gosh, Robchinski, great brand. Wolfie. Right, I'm only taking this off if the 40 donation comes in. Someone yeah. said, if they donate 40, we take it off, fine. But you'll have to donate quickly because if the penalties start and you donate after, it's not coming off. Yeah. So Wolfie, I think, just asked, what do we think of Mendy's chances? People are begging. I think the six foot six keeper might just save one of these. And I what tell you a what, story that would be. Pe- some people are begging for me to keep it on. <laughs> I think Tottenham fans barely win like, in, in, in penalty shootouts like this. Yeah. They've lost to Chelsea in penalty, penalty shootouts like the last two, three times. So I think Tottenham fans generally have that superstition that this hood will help them win the game. And they're relying on me keeping it on. So, yeah. I mean... This is going to be close, guys. 8.1k of you in the stream. Amazing. And to anybody new, if you didn't know, I put this hood on in the 87th minute and then the 88th minute Lamella scored. So say what you want, but that so was... Uh, Jose's shaking hands with all the Chelsea staff. Wolf Mauler, thanks for $2. What do you reckon about Mendy's chances? Um, I think he's got the chance to become a hero today, but I think Spurs will also be up for it. Dyer to take the first penalty, interestingly. Yeah. Scored in the england Columbia game, which yeah. we... Uh, well, he scored the winning penalty. We Thanks, there. Ollie Evans, for the one pound. Hashtag take it off. Donate, donate, donate. It's too late, guys. The first penalty is happening. <laughs> Whatever donations happen now, I'm not taking it off because I've, I've committed to it. And I'm sorry, it's too late to donate now if you want me to take the hood off because the first penalty is about to be taken. So here we go. Let's see if the uh, superstition is going to work. <laughs> Eric Dyer. Jose has linked arms last with time, his staff. Last time Chelsea Spurs plays, he, sh- he took the penalty and it went straight over. Uh, and he was the man. Here we go. Edouard Mendy's first penalty. Eric Dyer, 1 0. Goal. 1 0. Played it to Mendy's right and he <laughs> claps his hands and says, Come on. Yeah, he does. Mendy went the wrong way. The Dyer's tall not bad at Senegalese new Chelsea yeah. keeper. Mendy doesn't save the first penalty, but. Tammy Abraham, what can you do? Here comes Tammy. Frank Lampard's looking a little bit worried. I think both these teams have the ability to win this competition, which is why they both really want to win it. Yes, yes. Tammy. Tammy Abraham stepping up for the penalty. Here we go. Oh, very, very straight run up. Straight run up, then bends to the left. to the left. And he scores, bottom left. The same position as the first one. And the keepers both dive to the other side. Penalty, Spurs 1, Chelsea 1. Let's see Chelsea if the hood won. brings the look. Lloris really wants to win this. I think Lloris loves a good penalty save. Thogdad's a legend, of course Thank he is. Thank you Max very Owen, thanks much. for £2. What unis are you thinking about, Thoggy? Um, none right now, but in the future maybe. I don't know, it all depends where this YouTube stuff takes me. The it's... University of Life. Exactly. I went to Durham University. To be fair, I could go to London Uni and still run the channel. Yeah, you could, you could. You could play football. Right, yeah. Lamella. Spurs' uh, second penalty. Goal. Same place. All three penalties go in the same place. Bottom left-hand corner, the goalie's right. Yep. And it's a goal. Max Owen, thanks for two pounds. Maybe next time, Mendy, you go down there. This is, this is interesting, guys. This is getting interesting. Right. Aspilicueta steps wow. up. Aspi. The captain. You'd expect him to score. <laughs> Famous last words. True. Right, he moves off to the left. No straight run up here. Quick run up. Two Same two. place. Same place. Everybody's gone bottom left. Who's gonna break? Yeah. Who's and gonna he's break the pattern? It. He's like pumping his fists. He's the captain. He wants to show the emotion. Two doesn't all. He? Fogden, what do you what do you do for work? YouTube, mate. What do you expect? It's not easy building up a channel of nearly four hundred thousand there. Eh? Absolutely. It's full time work here, boys. Yeah, it is. And. Ooh, this looks like Hoiberg. Hoiberg. Interesting. First penalty for the club. Jose Mourinho's got a little, little smirk on his face, a little smile. He's linked arms with his assistant. Oh, it's a short run up. Bottom left. Same corner. All five penalties have been bottom left and they've all gone in. And wow. every time the keepers dive bottom right. I don't know what's going on here. 
Wow. And Hoiberg goes over to Loris and pumps fists and say, over to you, mate. Tottenham Hotspur 3, Chelsea 2 on penalties. Yeah. After one all at full time. This is getting exciting. It is. And now it is the turn of Jorginho. Didn't he miss the last Guys, one, Guys, we all know what he's going to do. He's going to do that wrong... No, no, he scored in this... In, when they lost, played in the penalty shootout a couple of years ago, or last year, he did the step up and played at bottom right corner. I watched the video on it. Will he do the jump and play bottom right? Or will he go bottom left? Oh! oh my goodness. It's a bad penalty. Oh, he pumps his and fist. And the keeper went the right way, but oh. he couldn't save it. Wow. He couldn't save it. Wow, wow, Lurie wow, should have wow. saved it. I think that stump really affects the goalkeeper. That's the way I take a penalty, I must admit. I take a penalty like Shut that. Shut up. No, no, seriously. Shut up. The He's trying to act like he knows how to do that little jump thing. No, not the jump. I position it where he oh, put right. it. Oh, right. Fair enough. What? Yeah. Don't try to overhit it and play it to the goalie's okay. left. Lucas Moura is 3-3 in penalties. Every penalty's gone in. We've seen the first penalty go in in the bottom right, right corner. Mendy's bouncing around. He's like, come on, psych, 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 psych. Moura loves a big moment. And Lucas Moura has scored. scored. Perfect penalty as well. Wow, we see good netting. And he prays to the gods and says, thank you, thank you, thank Four, you. 4 3 to Spurs. Wow. It's, it would be a good time for Chelsea to miss if Tottenham want to win, right? Wow, what a penalty that is. It is a perfect penalty. I think yeah. Harry Kane will take the fifth, so they're pretty much sorted. He's, he's not taken yet, has he? No. So Spurs have got a good oh, running in. Emerson, oh, Emerson. The bleached hair Emerson. Who I made a mistake for the did. goal. I do want to say before we get onto the penalty quickly, we're doing a £40 giveaway to three different winners. You just have to like and subscribe to the Thogden YouTube channel to enter. So get it done now. Emerson. Get it done now. And send me proof Emerson on Instagram. Emerson has... Here we go. To make it for all, he makes scored. it Scored. What a penalty. Left foot, bang. The pressure's back four on Tottenham all. to four, Harry Kane. Four. But Harry Kane doesn't miss penalties. No. <laughs> what a crazy <laughs> <laughs> Harry Kane fifth penalty there's a lot of pressure on him because he knows if he misses and Chelsea score they win however it's Harry Kane Theo it's Harry Kane he's got to, no 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 he's got to be thinking right now in his head just do what you're good at do what you're good at play the system you know just score play I mean Harry Kane has one of the highest percentage goal ratios at, from the penalty spot yeah but Edward Mendy could save the day for Chelsea let's yeah. find out now this is Harry Kane he doesn't you miss just, penalties. You just know he's going to power it. And where, where will he? Harry Kane has... Let's see if he's got the knack. Game. Scored. He plays it right. right footed to the goalie's left. Not a penalty miss. Now 5-4. Pressure on Chelsea to score if they miss Tottenham win. And wow. this hood has finally brought Tottenham the look to finally win a penalty shootout. <laughs> but, I mean, it's Mason Mount. And he's oh. not a bad... He, he's running up to the ball. He's looking confident. I think he'll score. I think he'll score. I think this is going to go to sudden death. Wow. But if he misses, Tottenham win. That is right. Where's Son? He's injured. And remember, don't forget to enter the £40 giveaway. Like and subscribe and send me proof on Instagram DMs. To Mason Mount to steps forward. Here we go. Mason Mount. Oh, my God, he's it. missed. He's missed it. And Tottenham have won the penalty he's shootout. He's missed it by a mile. And Tottenham are through in the Carabao Cup. The players Harry run Kane over. runs over to Hugo And the Lewis. lucky... The lucky hood, Dad. The lucky hood. The lucky hood. Has won it for Tottenham. I don't Get it on eBay. It. Get it on Starting TikTok. Starting price, 500 quid. I'm selling this hood, guys, on eBay. Get your bids in. Tottenham fans have finally won a penalty shootout against Chelsea. Mason oh, Mount has missed. Mason Mount, terrible And this penalty. hood is going to go for millions. <laughs> millions. <laughs> One billion dollars. Yes, guys. Yeah. A million dollars. Ah, well, it's more. It's more now, Dad. Yeah. The lucky hood wins the penalty shootout for Tottenham. You could never see a moment like this before. Wow. Now, I'm going to quickly go over to my YouTube channel here. I want to give a quick mention to our recent video today. We posted every Premier League club's FIFA 21 rating. Um, EA got wrong, so we go through every single Premier League club and we give them a, uh, we go through every single one that they got wrong. So for Liverpool, we talk about Thiago and then Pogba. That was the rating Man United they got. We go through every Premier League club and we speak about it. So if everybody could go over there now, I've still got the ongoing £40 giveaway. I'm going to change it. So you have to like and subscribe to enter. But also comment in the description your Instagram to enter. Go on this video and comment to enter now. Thank you to everybody that's enjoyed watching the stream. We'll see you over on our, on our most recent video that we posted today. Um, run up the numbers. Comment down below your Instagram. So I'll, I'll, I'll DM three winners tonight so get over there now on, on my most recent video and thank you guys just shown gareth bale he is delighted jose's delighted 
Tottenham are delighted. They are through to the next round of the EFL Cup. There we go. It wasn't a classic, but a bit of excitement at the end. And there's, oh my God, there's 12,000 people in All here. the Tottenham fans are loving it. Oh, I've got wow. to say, Dad, the Lucky Hood, this Lucky Hood has won it for Tottenham. I don't care what you said. I put it on, Lamella scored. I put it on again, <laughs> they win the penalty shootout. Wow. Chelsea fans, I'm sorry. This, this, this hood's got some juju magic going on. Thank you to everybody wait, for watching wait, this wait, stream. Wait, wait. Please say... like and subscribe and we'll see you all later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All of that.